Divine TV, power to transform lives. Welcome to Day 19, lovely viewers. My name is Reverend Naka, and it's a beautiful day for prayer and warfare. And you are welcome to the studios of Powerline TV here at the Royal House Chapel International at the Obechebi Runabout. Um, make your way to the Oil Dome. Today is Day 19, the last night for week of the altar before the final day on Sunday. And not too late at all. I hear there's a lot of traffic in town because it's graduation season. But... Um, beat the traffic and, and come and you would enjoy the service and wherever you are watching us from you are very 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 welcome and before we zoom into the discussions for today we will take the recap for day 17 day 17 week of the altar you have worked hard for but tonight i see an altar speaking for somebody i came to prophesy to somebody i don't know what the enemy is sending against you i decree and declare that the altar in the middle called jesus christ the altar of our father is going to fight for you fire is a currency for revival i come to engage the altar i come to draw from the power of this altar i come i declare today that may god show you mercy by the engagement of the blood of jesus let there be a restoration of everything that you have ever lost in your life when i see the blood i will overpass you don't only see blood but the blood also speaks clap your hands and say let the blood speak for me 
day, the Lord said, tell my people, when I see the blood, the next voice is, it is finished. Welcome back. Joining me in the studio tonight is Senior Lady Dickin, Alice Ampo for Boating, the Chief Financial Officer of Royal House Chapel International, the one who holds our money bag and our pair strings. Welcome, Dickin Alice. Thank you, Reverend. And joining us today is Peniel. Peniel Colley. Peniel Colley, the freshest graduate in town. Peniel, how does it feel like to be a fresh graduate? It's an amazing. Amazing. What did, what did you graduate in? Um, so I graduated in MBA um, marketing. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you so much. How did the altar do it for you? Okay. So I have a testimony. Come on now. I actually now. want to share. Um, in 2022, mm. okay, yeah, November, I went to pay my fees. Uh, normally, the university allows you to pay half of your fees so that um, getting to exams, you pay you the pay, rest mm -hmm. of the half. So I went to pay for University of Ghana. It takes between 24 to 48 hours to, for it to reflect, mm, reflect, reflect. Mm -hmm. on the portal. So after 48 hours, I checked. Um, it was a full payment mm. that reflected. Wow. Um, Wait, you paid half? I paid half. But it reflected full. So, hey, I received this kind of testimony. So, so, so the fees was 11400 a semester. So I paid half. And um, I was waiting. That's OK. During exams, I'll pay the rest of the half. Wow. Then it reflects. So I actually thought, OK, um, since we have an accountant here, he knows I thought, OK, at the end of the month, we'll do some reconciliation, mm. reconciliation to check if there was any problem. Yeah. OK, the month ended. Nothing. Nothing showed. Okay, so I went ahead to register wow. and everything. Um, after doing exam steps, I was thinking, mm. oh, okay, maybe a list will come out. They say, okay, I've not paid and everything. Nothing. Wow. So, so now, nothing showed. It still wow. showed that I paid a full wow. payment. Wow. I don't know who is believing God for their fees this year and this semester, but may the Lord raise for you an angel who will surprise you with that school fees. Where the money will come from, you have no idea. May the Lord send surprise monies into your bank account. Amen. You will go and check your bank balance and your mind will be blown away yeah. wow that's a powerful testimony yeah. wow Dikinalis, how has pick of the water been for you this year hmm reverend Aka, it's been so interesting hmm. so 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 interesting from day one from day to one. yesterday i can't wait for tonight hey sh i can't Final wait for night. tonight let me give a testimony so tuesday we did the blood mm -hmm. and Yesterday, my husband had to go somewhere for a document. Getting that document, Reverend Naka, is not easy. Wow. Getting that document is not easy at all. So when we came for the talk, when it got to the token, when it got to the token, I told my husband, Chopi, so we have to swim, hey, in, this, swim, in, the swim in this blood Come on. so that when you go, mm. I mean, things will fall mm. in place. Mm. After we went home from the service, we continued with the blood. Hey, you did round two. I'm telling you because we know the blood speaks. The blood speaks. Reverend Naka, when he got to the office of the person yesterday, mm. something that would take like, let's say three months for us to have, he got it yesterday. Wow. Within 30 minutes. Instant miracle. I hey, I received you, my portion. This one is called Jinahoji Miracle. 30 minutes. Wow. And we knew. I mean, wow. the has, author has, has been speaking. It has to be. But yesterday's be. own Reverend Naka. Instant miracle. Within I, 30 minutes. I can't minutes. wait for the testimonies that will come after this week of the author. Wow. Within 30 minutes. I mean, um, if you are watching us, like mm. Raymond Naka said, Prophesy. today there is so much traffic in town, but please beat the traffic mm. and come. Because Don't. last days are very dangerous. Very, very. Tonight, I know something different come will on happen. Now. Come please on now. Please draw closer. Come draw to the now. well. Come, come on and, now. Come and taste of the well, the water from the well. Come on now. Tonight's own won't be easy. Mm. Please, mm. don't stay home. Wow. Instant miracle. Reverend Naka. Hey, then now we have reduced this from 24 hour miracle to 30 minutes miracle. Sure. 
this this week of daughter has been something else serious from day one serious and today is day 19. Mm, mm, anointing has mm, not diminished mm, the presence has not diminished mm, the power has not come mm, down ag's prophetic anointing has not reduced he is going old but it's like the anointing is increasing fresh, day by day seriously seriously older, better seriously i mean sunday mm -hmm. sunday was sun, sunday was something else the presence the anointing i have you know what happened on Sunday? We come and we worship. Mm. We come and we seek the face of mm. God. Mm. But Sunday was different. Mm. And, and when daddy mounted the prophet, no wonder um, that person gave the revelation. Yes. That he saw daddy to a lion. The lion yeah, and lion I mean, saying. you could feel the presence of God. Please, don't sit home. I mean... If you sit home, Reverend Aka, tell them for me. <laughs> if they sit home, they've lost it. If you haven't participated, it is never late. Today can be your best day yes, of all. Yes. So just join us. Join us. Let's talk about tonight's service. Mm. What are we expecting to happen tonight? Um, I, I, I don't know um, who is watching, but I believe uh, we heard what uh, Daddy said yesterday. Bring your documents. Mm. Um, Bring in your pictures or anything that you want. God, it's a, it's um, how, how do we call it? It's a freelance day. Yeah. It's a, yesterday, Reverend Eddie said, if you, if you want a car, go and borrow someone's car key. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, I had, I had a car, so I had a, my car key. Mm. That um, I, I want to own a property in Canton. Come on now, yeah. hey, Canton <laughs> It will come to pass. Amen. So um, I don't know wherever you are. Either you log on to our youtube channel mm -hmm. um facebook glue to our tv Instagram, powerline tv powerline or TV. make your way to the altar mm. because um there's power at the altar there's, yeah. there's miracle yeah. Yeah. all over the yeah. altar yeah. and don't no, I, I don't know what you want to do just come and hold the horn of the altar of our father mm. and he will show up in every situation yeah. of yours yeah. because he did it for me and I'm sure he will also do it amen, for you. Amen. 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 And what amazes me about Week of the Altar year after year is that those who watch us on Powerline TV, on Facebook, on YouTube, they are not left out of the testimonies. The anointing is not concentrated here at the oil dome alone. It is at the altar and it is dispersed through mm -hmm. various mediums, various channels, the hinterlands, wherever people watch us from. Once they connect to the altar via their screens, I, people sent us once they say they create an altar in their home. They touch their documents to the TV and they receive miracles, they receive testimonies. So it doesn't matter how you are watching us or where you are watching us from. The power of God is coming straight from the oil dome to wherever you are. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And we receive so many messages, so many so many people have been complaining that we don't read their messages because the messages are so many someone says oh today is the last night oh, oh. i know we'll miss week of the altar after this monday oh, yeah. we'll be wondering ah isn't there somewhere i have to be tonight it says however my family and i have been extremely blessed mm -hmm. just when you think a night was powerful then the following night blows your mind just what we have been saying what God bless AG1 and Mama Shilo and the whole of Friar House Chapel. God bless you so much. This one says, every end of week of the altar is my first contact anniversary. Hey, please explain to us what first contact anniversary means. Okay, she explains. She says, that's because the God of Apostle General connected me to my hubby. Wow. Mm. Now on the Saturday, 28th, January 2012, after being a single mom in UK and having gone through several failed disappointments, mm. my husband was a Royal House member and then he introduced us to the, his father's altar. Mm. Now we are a family of five and we have never missed week of the altar since 2012. Mm. That's what, 10 years? Yeah. Actually, 12, 12 years. This is 2024. If I start listing the testimonies, I won't finish all. But today, I thank God for AG1. 
for bringing me a good man. Mm. Truly mm. the influence of AG1. Mm. And Mama Marie's beautiful marriage is making us enjoy our marriage. Mm. Pa. Mm. I still feel like I'm dreaming. Oh, may the Lord continue to blow your mind. Mm. I don't know who is listening to us, but may the Lord give you a testimony mm. that will make you think you are dreaming. Amen. A testimony that will tell you to, to tell people, wake me up from this dream because I can't believe what God is doing in my life. You know the song, Obinya name yo. Yeah, that will be your song after a week of the altar. Oh you God. will think you are dreaming. The testimonies will blow your mind. Some of the people will ask you, which, 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 which God do you serve? Yeah. Wow, this is a powerful testimony. Another person says, thank you, Apostle General. Thank you so much. Thank you, God of Apostle General. All oh, the person say thank you. I can't wait to hear what the thank you is backing. The reason why the thank you is coming. I can imagine maybe it's marriage or child, childbirth. Okay. Financial, financial breakthrough, breakthrough. Or job even breakthrough. An issue in the office that um, the person has been praying about. Mm. You know, sometimes mm. at our offices and where we work, there are situations that come your way, mm. and you wonder, hey, who will speak for me? Come on, who come will on, be there come for on, me? come on. I mean, um, Tuesday, mm. Reverend Odika, he just hit it on the mm. point. I mean, mm. um, there are sometimes you don't even understand the situation. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you know there's something going on mm. and you just need somebody to talk for you who is mm. going to talk for you it you is just altar. god it is just god i mean he 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 hits the nail right on, on the, the head yes that yes. we should believe in the god we serve. Mm. we should believe in the altar we have connected to because trust me when you can't speak the advocate will be there for mm. you. Yeah. Mm. The advocate will be there for you. And yesterday, the Reverend Kalke said, sometimes you get to a point where you just ask, where is the God of my father? Where is the God of the altar of royal house? Hmm. And I believe many people have asked that question and God has come through for them. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think yeah. Um, in d December, I traveled for uh, holidays in the Volta region mm. when I was coming. I was driving um, 120, 140, um, then the passenger side front eye burst. Wow. And to my amazing, the car just slowed down. Wow. And just stopped. This is good. Wow. This is, and just stopped. Where is the God of and my father? And when he stopped, there were people there to help me change my tie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so funny. And, and I just said, That's amazing. This is God. This is good. And I just remembered um that during week of the other we are asked to let the blood mm, mm, last year mm, was let, the, let blood the blood speak for us so we're asked to pray and i, I just said, said to myself i think this is one of my prayers in the bank that i just withdraw yeah wow. so this year week of the other i have to pray more mm. Mm, and add it to the bank so I, I don't know, but the altar is extremely potent. potent. The altar speaks. Mm. The altar protects mm. and mm. preserves. Mm. Hey, a lot of people are sad that week of the altar is ending. Mm. This person says, I can't believe we are about ending. I don't want it to end because this, this is my covering and my preservation. I will be strong and I am courageous for I know the Lord has get, gone ahead of me in 2024. See, you can continue the fast if you want. You can yeah. decide to do 30 days. Do 40 days. Just start week of the altar all over again. Do an extra 21 days to make 40 days. The, you can go back to our streams on yeah. Facebook, on YouTube. They are never deleted. So whenever you want to pray, you can go back. And every morning, they start and stare. So that is also an yeah. avenue for you to connect and pray. It's free for all. Just like this week or this last few days, Apostle General said, whatever token you want to bring, bring. And like we're discussing, whatever you want to bring, whether it is your documents or it is a man you've been dating for years and he's not proposing, bring his picture. Or use his picture for the, for the, <laughs> the kinale, why are you laughing? <laughs> use his picture. The Lord will give him sleepless nights. The very, Bible says very, very the important. heart of the king is in the hands of the yes. Lord. Ha! If there's a boss who must promote you, use his picture. For God, to the Holy Spirit to torment him in his bedroom. The kinale, you are not part. You cannot, you cannot bring your boss's picture. You are being partial. Oh, no, he can. She can. Oh, how? Ah. How? She can. Maybe Penel, she can. Maybe. Don't, don't mind her. Oh, no, 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 no. You know no, no. why we're, she's saying that? You know why there, she's saying we're that? We were there yesterday. Mm -hmm. AJ gave somebody $1,000. Maybe Thank she needs $10,000. Ah, anyway, anyway, someone Thank had you. a dream that AJ was giving mm -hmm. her, signing a big fat check in the dream. May that be your portion, the Kinalis. Viewers, please don't mind Reverend Naka. She doesn't want me to pray <laughs> over the dad, but I'm going to do that. Because listen, I, I, 
It's not like I'm going to pin my boss down. No. But I need that favor Come from God. Come on now, yeah. yeah. I yeah. need that yeah. grace from God. Yeah. Working with the Apostle General, you need, you need the favor of God. You need the presence of God. Um, it is social work, but trust me, it is spiritual. So, Reverend Naka, I'm telling you the truth. You are in the spirit. Mm. I have this picture. Mm. Just for God to help me understand my boss, mm. Give help me, me grant me favor before him. That, you know, sometimes you, know, you, you understand your boss's language. Please, I'm not speaking for myself. I'm speaking for, yeah, for you, that yeah. person sitting at yeah, home, yeah, thinking yeah. that you're not getting favor before mm, your boss, mm, or mm. think that things are not going well. No, try trust altar. me. Trust me. Try our altar. Don't go and pray for your boss to, to like you over. No. Just ask God to grant you favor. Mm. Favor before mm. your favor, bosses. Favor. favor before your colleagues. Favor before your subordinates. Mm. It works, and it really does. Please connect to the altar of Royal House Chapel and you will never regret it. We have a message here. It says, God mightly bless Apostle Juno and Mama Rita mm -hmm. and the entire family for heeding to the voice of God mm. and to bring families and generations mm. yet unborn to the limelight. Mm. Papa, words are not enough, but myself and my whole family, we say thank you for mm. the eye opener. Mm. We pray with you on the we prayed with you from the first week of the altar, first week of week of the altar, and I'm believing God for my marriage and the fruits of the womb. Mm. As I type, I'm the only one in my family to be married and have my own children too. Mm. Wow. She says, though I'm 45, I still have great faith mm. that God will certainly come through for me in mm. Jesus' name. Mm. I also pray for a good job and open doors to travel to do my master's and PhD. Mm. God bless you all. Tonight is the second day for women believing God for the fruit of their womb. Yesterday was day one and we are continuing today. So if you are like this woman, believing God for your marriage, you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, you are believing God for even a job breakthrough, yeah. you are believing God for your financial business breakthrough, financial breakthrough, make your way to the week of the altar, particularly if you are believing God for the fruit of the womb. Make your way to the or your dome or connect to us via your television screen don't change the dial just be connected participate in the service and i know and i believe that you will receive a miracle a year by this time you will come and share your testimony with us and we'll be celebrating your twins with you Amen. we'll be celebrating your marriage Amen. we'll be celebrating your job breakthrough we'll be celebrating the numerous testimonies god is about to do for you and um for this woman I had a testimony recently. Someone was telling me about her auntie who got married very late at the age of 50. Okay. I'm like, hey, 50. She was still praying for marriage. Got married at 50. Within a year, God blessed her with twins. Oh, pension wow. baby. Wow. I was wow. like, hey, God too can be amazing. So, oh, 45, oh, your case is small for God. If God can give a 50 50. year old okay. twins. Then your and you know even last year as royal ladies come yes, we had yes, a testimony yes. someone who was I think fifty two yes who had been married for I think twenty years God blessed her with twins so oh, your case your case is 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 chicken change for God yeah. God is about to turn your story around God will surprise you God will blow your mind beyond imagination for doctors to ask you which God do you serve fruits of the womb and yesterday the people were so many mm. i was like wow and i know that a year by this time next year some of those people will come and share testimonies they really have their testimony. like what we call week of the altar babies yeah. every year we have them miracle not one babies. not two not three not four so many miracle babies from the altar of our father and this house god has blessed us with certain kinds of anointing yeah. Anointing for PhD. Mm. Anointing for scholarship. Hey, you just finished master's. Relax. <laughs> Anno anointing for financial breakthrough. Amen. People who were nobodies come and the Lord turns them around. Yeah. But another anointing we have is anointing for child for, for fruitfulness. Anointing for babies to be born. If you go to a children's auditorium, it's a whole congregation. Mm. A whole congregation declines to tell you when she's signing a requisition for children's party. Hey. 
the it's numbers. Not small, it's, not, it's not a small amount. And these are children just Real from babies. maybe 3 to 12 years. Forget about the people in secondary Jeez. school, the people in the teens ministry. So in Royal House, God has blessed, God has really blessed our father with, with a, a unique kind of anointing and a unique kind yeah. of grace. That anybody who comes into contact with him, their lives are turned around. You just need to be patient. Mm, mm, just be patient. Mm, that's a word. That's a and word. And trust in the God. And trust me, whatever the man of God tells you to do, just do it. Just believe it. Um, it, it will... It, sometimes it looks like God is, has forgotten about you. Mm. I mean, yesterday, Reverend Callistos also hated mm. um, prophecies that have been released upon you yeah. and it's not coming to pass. Mm -hmm. And then you wonder, hey, is God there? Mm. Is he there? Mm. I would always use my testimony. Hold on with the testimony. When we come back, you will share that testimony. <laughs> we are going to the arena of warfare. Worship is about starting. We'll be back again after the service to wrap up. But stay glued to your, to, your, to your TV set, to your phone, to your laptop, whatever device you are using. Just stay tuned and the power of God is about to hit you. We'll be right back after the service.
change that spot. You change that spot. Yeah. Yeah. Come to sorry one. God that we serve on this altar. That is our God that speaks better things than the blood of heaven. Now we we'll search you on that. Jesus! Yeah. 
Okurono Okurono Begin to worship the name of the Lord, for He deserves it tonight. We bless Your name. Tonight we say, Ray, Jesus, Ray. Lift up your voice and sing when Jesus Jesus You wanna do it better
Let me hear that church. Hamasia, Lion of Judah. The righteous is as bold as Jesus. Sing it. Yeshua. Hamasia. we thank you for 18 nights and 18 days and yet one more time the 19th night we thank you for how far you have brought us God you who went ahead of those who came before me come with me today let your church be blessed I submit to the authority and the grace on this altar that I will serve according to your will. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. I feel like I am the favorite son of the Apostle General Emma Marita. But I know that I am not the only person that feels that way. Each of us in our own capacities somehow feel like we are the ones they love the most. In fact, your feeling is not strange at all. Can we celebrate our mother and our father who have a rare ability of making everyone around them feel special? God bless you, mommy and daddy. Secondly, I want to celebrate every speaker that has come before me. God richly bless you and thank you for raising a prayer altar for me to stand on this evening. I also want to celebrate the members of Faith Cathedral, the church that the Apostle General has graciously given me an opportunity to pastor. Faith Cathedral Royal House Chapel. I celebrate all of us here in person and online. God bless you all for being part of this festival. Riddle, riddle. Riddle. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 30 verse 15. Riddle, riddle. Let's read the riddle. Ready, riddle. go. There's a last thing I hear you, my young coupon, and when I was the kind of what you know, Dan a man, and coupon show, and I want to be preaching, and I coupon show Bibia in the Proverbs. Yeah, I read the red over them. Ready? Go. The leech has two daughters. Give and give. This is a riddle. The author of this proverb is applying a literary device we call a riddle. It's using symbols to first tell you. What they are about to say. For example, when you hear things like uh, in a local language, you hear things like okuku seku. Okuku seku doesn't mean anything unless you hear what follows, which is onipa hu yehu. Yes. Emma, all the came up at the end of the day. I want to make a gift. I want to make a gift. Fama, fama. Nadamazi okuku seku. Nipa hu yehu. Wawa sama. A riddle. A wise saying. But the real meaning will follow or somebody has to decode. Today, any problem before you that is a riddle, you will solve it in the name of Jesus. You will solve financial problems. You will solve academic problems. Anything that is difficult, today the Lord is giving you the answer and you will solve it. Shall I will solve it. Mebu samia ya kan wan samite azibiara o chede azibiara aye zin wo abra bom ne in the be nana no sibir and this is the interpretation of the riddle. There are three things that never, that are never satisfied. And as for the fourth one, it never says enough. That is the meaning. 
the leech has two daughters simply means there are three things that never get satisfied and as for the fourth one it doesn't know enough the, the author chooses the, the creature, the leech, because the leech is a blood sucking parasite that sticks to its host and never goes away until it has drained its host of every drop of blood. Today, anybody in your life that is a leech. Throw it out of your capital. Clap hands and say, crash. Crash. Let's see. Let's that is sucking the youthfulness of your life that you grow too old and never marry today we crash them crash any employee in your life that is sucking the profit in your business today we bring them to this altar and we crash them anybody too close and yet too sucking today we will deal with them on this altar it is so close never gets away mm. and always sucking in God we call it shitty and the person that has tied their apron strings to yours hey. but it's an agent of the devil tonight we shall make them small now the author now goes to list the three things which have this attitude of the city or the leech. Verse 16. Verse 16. The first thing that is like the leech is the grave. The grave. The grave doesn't go away. It hangs around for its victim. Ladies and gentlemen, I grew up around Accra Sports Stadium and I live very close to the Osu Cemetery. In fact, the Osu Cemetery was one of my favorite playgrounds. And one thing I noticed about the grave is that it doesn't discriminate. grave is that it doesn't discriminate. It is always asking for whosoever it may get. Growing up, I saw the grace of children. I saw the grace of accomplished people. I saw the grace of, of nobodies and I saw the grace of people from all walks of life. One thing about the grave, it doesn't discriminate. It always wants to take and it's always hanging around. You are standing here right in the presence of God, but next to you is a spirit that wants to send you to the grave. But today, any leech wanted to send you to an early grave. Shout and say, Crash! Crash! Many who the woman and was a true bargain, but from a bargain, I saw for him. Mala Martin, Obi Piano Betting, Obi Piara Otalawa, Opera Oku, and Oguin Massin, and then in Bugasoa. The grave does not discriminate. Woman, it is always looking for a candidate. It is always looking for a victim. Tonight you will not be a candidate for death. Your grave that has been buried this year, you will not fall into it. Shout, I jump and pass. I come up. In the muhulitra, a woman be a woman be a muhulitra. And one thing about the grave is that even though it is always looking for victims, nobody has seen the grave calling them to come. In other words, the grave itself does not advertise for its victims to apply. It uses some henchmen. For example, incurable sicknesses can lead people to the grave. For example, bad luck in business can keep people heart attack and send them to the grave. You don't see the grave, but the grave sends people to come and do its work. 
A woman eh? on the advert for TV do on the power line in symbol symbol. We are praying. Any agent of the grave, come on. Anybody sent, man or spirit, sent to send us to an early grave. Today we'll send them to their grave. In the name of Jesus. Say my father, 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 my Eli Kopei Kopaya, Randy Mokopaya, child of God, we are praying tonight against any agent of death. We are praying tonight against any agency of death that will be sent your way 2024. Anything that will be sent your way to push you towards death, we stop it tonight and we cast it by fire. Any incurable disease that the enemy will project to push you to your grave, we intercept it and we crush it. Any spiritual attack that will be sent your way to push you to your death, we intercept it and we crush it. Any agenda of the enemy to push you to your grave. By the, grave the grave is like a leech. Like leech. The grave, grave lags around. around. The grave, the grave doesn't, doesn't want to go. But this year, this you, will year. Will you, will you will not be buried. 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 Clap hands and pray. Clap and pray. Shabela, Abali Osaya, Ipala Daba Kosete, Inama Osaya, Ipali Osete, Rapo Osaya, Ila. Clap your hands up, increase the prayer right now in the name of Jesus. And that thing that is hanging around in the form of Elisa, that want to send you to your grave as you clap your hands up. We bury them in the name of Jesus. Let them come before you. I hear a pair of sire in Palio Saturn. They have set up their tomatoes next to your apples at the same at the square. Meanwhile, they are little. Feeding on you, I hear a pair of sire, the paladaba, they are parasites on your bladder, on your finances, on your marriage. A pair, a pair of sire, your husband has left home because of a certain litter that is feeding on him. But tonight, but tonight, let the litter die in the name of Jesus. Let the litter that want to push you to the grave, I hear a pair of sire by. The heart of the altar of your father, let that lit down in the name of Jesus. Let the grave that has opened up its mouth to swallow your finance, your business, your marriage, your children, your academics, your family. So now, let that grave be sealed up in the grave that has already swallowed up in the body, in the family. Bible says, when the blood of Jesus touch the ground. And the sickness, sickness, yes, and the sickness, yes, sickness. sucking your blood, sucking your blood, and the sickness, and the sickness, covering, yes, your body, your body, now you are losing, now you are losing your life, your life, on this altar, 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 on this altar. we turn it out, we, it out. we cut it off, we, it off. we crush it, we crush it, lift up your voice, clap your hands, and the thing that presents itself as a parasite entering into your life, it has come into your life like a sickness. It passed on from your grandfather. It came onto your father. And now you are seeing signs and symptoms. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says uh, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 5, uh, for the blood uh, by his stripes we are healed. In the name of Jesus, we remove that leech by the blood. And today, in the name of Jesus, in the form of leech that has entered into your life, trying to direct you to the grave. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, may the hand of the Lord uh, come down and remove them. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are demanding your life. They are demanding your business. They are demanding your children. Today, in the name of Jesus, in the form of leech uh, that has come into your life, 
like a friend, like a partner. In the name of Jesus, we clap our hands, we invoke prayer, we invoke fire, and we command the night, we command the day. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift your voice, lift your voice in prayer. Hateli Mahasanda, Hatule Metosunda, Child of God, are you praying tonight? Lift your voice, let the prayer go higher. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare by fire, we declare by the blood, and the leader. In our life, uh, Abela Masunda trying to push us uh, to the grave. Uh, when they clap by fire, let them fall. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, the Bible said uh, He sent for His word uh, to heal uh, and to deliver. Uh, when they clap in the name of Jesus, uh, any man uh, or woman uh, in our life uh, trying to push us uh, to the grave. Uh, when they clap by fire, let them fall uh, and die. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Bible said uh, the Lord is our light uh, and our salvation. Uh, Who shall we fear when the enemy, uh, even our foes, uh, they come up uh, to soak uh, our blood? Uh, they will stumble uh, and they will fall uh, when they clap tonight. Uh, let them fall uh, in the name of the, the Lord Jesus. In the final night, we are dealing, we are dealing with, the with the spirit that wants your children. We are dealing, we are dealing with the spirit that wants you. What are you doing? Clap your hands. Take a stand. Refuse to be buried. Refuse to be buried. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal on a satan. Let the voice of the Lord be heard. Appeal your vision will not die. Your ministry will not die. Your career will not die. We reject every spirit. Death is a spirit moving around in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. At dawn, this evening, we declare, we close every door. May we be protected. May we be hidden. And that the blood lift your voice. We shall not die. And your life that is holding on to your blood and the blood sucking for a sight, sucking your blood in the evening, sucking your blood in the morning. Right now, you are saying, Oh Lord, let the fire of the Holy Ghost catch them, catch them, burn them, and the parasite sucking your blood from your very life tonight on the altar of mercy. You are saying. My father, my father, show me mercy by fire. I burn them. The Bible says you shall decree a dinner and it will In the name of Jesus. The grave is like an elite. It never wants to go away, but it never shows itself except it sends its agents. I am going to mention some agents that send people to the grave. And you sell, you tell you tell that agent. Back to the grave. In the name Can of we practice it? Yes, sir. Straight diseases. Back to, to the, the grave. grave. Oh, yeah. Deal with them right now. Deal with them right now. You are not going to the grave. 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 There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain. I am the chain for you. 
The next thing that is used, verse 16, let's continue, is the barren womb. The barren womb never gets satisfied. I pray for any woman here who is desiring a child that in the year 2024 you shall deliver any woman that is past the age of delivery and don't have a child on this altar I provoke a child you shall keep her like Sarah you shall keep her like Hannah you shall keep her like Rachel so I will deliver Every woman who was called buried in the Bible received a miraculous child with the exception of Michal, the daughter of Saul, who was cursed. But every woman in scripture who was described as barren had a child. In other words, it is not God's will for you to have an empty womb. I put a baby in your womb. I put a baby in your sister's womb. I put a baby in your cousin's womb. I put a baby in your wife's womb. Receive a baby. Anybody who already has a baby, but you need another one. The season of secondary barrenness is ending. I give you a set of twins. I give you a set of triplets. Receive multiplication. Obi bi ala wo tro ko ko numa. Oya boni na ku ponso nya ba wo e. Bible na tro do o nya ba wo e. Aji so na ba ne pe an ozo num. In the day awa e pa ban e ba won tafo, e ba won tasa, e ba won nan. You are not cursed, but you are blessed. This altar speaks blessings. And from this altar, I release a blessing into your life. You are not Mika. You are a blessed daughter of the Apostle General. You are a blessed son of the Apostle General. In a Mika, a Apostle General, a mama written about it's as if you are all your full mobile. I happen in that one Sabaka, the one Sakari. The barren room never gets satisfied. Bonnie, your fool or Bibi and Sonina. Ladies and gentlemen, this barren room that the proverb is talking about is not the womb that is looking for a child. It's just the womb that just wants to receive the seed and waste it. Then your funi ayaka wan semi oni your funa opero upeo ne mo opero jambani tum no seban. Because the scripture says the barren womb that never gets satisfied, a barren womb that receives a seed and becomes a baby becomes satisfied. If the choko kwanza sana demi your funi bibi an sonenua ne mo your funa opero wan bibi sonenua onyaba. So the womb that we are talking about in this scripture is not the one that wants to have a baby. It's just the one that wants to waste the seed. The author, when he was writing this, had in mind the womb of a harlot. Women who just want to sleep with men just for other benefits than having children. Then 
Today, any business, any partner, any arrangement that is wasting your resources, that is wasting your capital, it shall not prevail. In the day, Obi Biara, Otalo, Obtume Bialeye, I hope I say Uskasam, Oba say Wabra, but I know to be called to Shemin, on Yonku Kunimzi, on Zida. The barren room is the one that is designed that there is no legacy and there's no transgenerational blessing for you. May I come and say, I'm a that way, say, saying, why I don't fair fair? Not only I want to answer, I know need your passport, baby, I'll be your The kind of business that when you work hard, nothing works. Hey, Juma, I bet you want your Juma to be PN or Kodo. The kind of association that when you have, you never move from one level to the other. Oh yeah, I'm Fabia, and I'm Kufabia. It's all Kopata. It's all Kowenim de Biarada. The barren womb. Yefun Boni Yefun. The spirit that wastes. Recently, I was having a chat with my father, and I was asking him, Daddy, I don't seem to find a lot of notable rich people from my tribe, from our tribe. Then my dad said to me, Look, when I was growing up, there were a lot of notable rich people who were fishermen. By, by the way, I'm a girl, and we are predominantly or traditionally fisher folk. Obisana papa so papa mu o titiru ana skeni bia wo ye busu mu bi da ne papa se na hwe na meti chokwa na no ho mbo no ne wo wona wo skapa wo ye titiru e busu enu my father says to me that when he was growing up a lot of the people who lived around the shore area were very rich in their fishing business and a lot of them owned land in the part of Accra that now we call the central business district on the own property day even my great grandfather owned property in the central business district. He was a fisherman. Ne papa ka tan da wona na wo kopo. Wo ya shama wo kopo ni nina. Na wo ska was as a for wo wo je pazu wo krom in the rolling circle ho. The reason a lot of them are poor now is that a spirit came and wasted what they had and mm. what they told for. Mm. But I prophesy to a businessman here that every spirit of wastage will be buried at the altar today. Your business will go to the next generation. Oh, the apostle general prayed yesterday. He said he's praying for his children now. The next generation and the third generation. And on the pillar of that prayer, we shall pray for your next generation. And Papa, I have one day. It's a party, another Jumezalizi, our dear Jumanitudo, as if you are here, or Boko, I won't on to your door to your door, to me, Pian to Monsa, if they're the mood to me, and all Jaja Pazin, and a few on him. For those who know Accra very well, please pardon me if you are watching online and you don't know our city very well. Um, the central business district is very close to this church, um, maybe about five minutes drive from here, but that's where you have a lot of offices and commercial activity. Uh -huh. But earlier, people had residential property in the central business district. There was this fisherman who owned property around Cocoa House, the area that we now call um, ATL, Akosomo Textiles Office in Accra. All the way from one end of the junction, all the way to where UT Bank used to be. He owned that whole stretch of land from that traffic light to the next traffic light opposite Cocoa Marketing Board. One man, he was a fisherman. And he had this tall story building there. And this was what the man used to do. Once in a while, the man would come out with a long gold chain. He intentionally made a long gold, pure gold chain with a hook and put a bait on the hook. And then he would throw it down. People would be watching. He says he's looking for poverty to catch it. In other words, he's making fun of poverty, saying that I am so wealthy that I will never be poor and nobody in my generation will be poor. Senima, baby, I in there. I call you can there. I cry here. I want to share our power line. I'm not too great. It's a no voter region. Any man can crime by crime. Then it's a yeah. I drive a five minutes. People do home on them. Oh, no, be with scam or yet chain or the dawa shano. The one also don't let you here. Oh, with scam also let you here. Thank you for clapping, but it's followed by a tragedy. This man who used to make fun of poverty became so sick. That they sold all his assets, including his tall tower where he used to make sport of poverty. They sold every asset he owned to cure that strange sickness, and he never got cured. He died of the sickness, and his family members had to go and look for money to borrow 
for his funeral. In the spirit of wastage. In the spirit that is wasting the hard work you are putting in this year, we shall bury it. In the spirit yes. that is wasting the labor yes. of our pastors, yes. today we shall bury it. We shall bury it. Then Pepe, as all turn there, second as all when in our soon soon born in the gym. Mammy, wait, lift up your hands. I am angry. You cannot be great and fall again. We cannot build this oil dome and waste everything. Say my father, my father. Say my Lord, my God. In the spirit of wasting, in the spirit of, in the spirit of destruction, in the spirit of limits, my harvest, and take it away. In the barren world, I wasted. I went war. I went war. I went war. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Say, Palaba, Abela Bakosanda, Abela Banda. Lift up your voice. We are dealing with a barren womb. We are dealing with the spirit of wasted. There is no power from hell that wants to waste your investment, that wants to waste your life. By your prayer tonight, we arrest the spirit and we bury it tonight. There is no power from hell. After your children, there is a seed of greatness. In your children, there is a seed of greatness that is inside of you. But a certain spirit uh, wants to destroy, a certain spirit wants to abort, a certain spirit wants to arrest. But tonight, by the clapping of your hands and by your prayer, we destroy that spirit. We declare tonight that nothing will waste our investment, that nothing will waste our future. Our future will not be wasted. Our children will not be wasted. Accept your voice wherever you are standing. Intensify your prayer. For the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 37, verse 18, for it is true that the kings of Assyria has laid waste their sons, laid waste their resources and the land of the people. We declare this evening that any spirit that is on agenda, that is in motion to cause wastage in our life, in our business, in our career, we declare by the altar of our Father, we scatter in the name of Jesus, for the Bible said, for there is a treasure in the thing vessels, that the glory may be of God and not from men, in the name of Jesus, that treasure, that gift, that power, in the name of Jesus, that the enemy want to waste, in the name of Jesus, we scatter, we hinder any plot, any agenda, deception of the enemy to waste our vision, to waste our resources, to waste the lives of your children on the altar of prayer. We scatter in the name of Jesus. Leave the wall. Clap your and pray right now. Don't stop praying. Clap your and pray. Whatever you are standing, just go lift the voice. Clap your and pray right now. In the spirit for your father's house, for your mother's house, in the spirit in your area, in your own power. Asa, asa, to waste your life, to waste your destiny, to waste your destiny by fire. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. That the enemy, that the enemy will not use them will not use to, them. Waste to waste what you have taught for. What have taught for. Pray. 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 Lift up your prayer. Clap your hands and pray. Pray for your children now. Pray for your children now. That the devil, that the witches, that the forces will not use them to waste your income, your project. Clap your hands. Release fire. Release fire. You are overcoming every western, every western, wherever. I've been sent from, from your father's house, for the cutting word. You overcome them. That was uh, clap yes, uh, Stop the feet. Uh, stop them now. 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 Jesus. This year. Lift the voice and pray. We come to the altar. We come to the altar.
2024. Tonight is the last night. Wherever you are, clap your hands. Let me hear you clap right now. Let me hear you clap right now. Lift your voice and pray in the spirit. Tonight by prayer, we crash now in the spirit. Now was to waste your career. Tonight by prayer, we crash now. Wherever you are, let me hear you clap right now. First level, second level, we lift all the messages. The AK 47. Tonight is the last night. Don't give the devil a chance. We crash in the spirit. Set from anywhere to monitor your life, to destroy your career, to destroy your business. Tonight, you have the power to crash. You have the power. And the students pray. And the students pray. And the spirit that appears on the day of the exams and waste your three years of learning. Fire it. Fire it. Fire it. Fire it. Fire it. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. It is not over until it is over. The Bible is the class. You shall call upon me. And now we hear you. Tonight, we are calling upon Jehovah. We destroy by fire. And the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. And our silver will be saved by your prayer. We crush the spirit. We crush the spirit. Jesus, your children will not waste your labor, your family will not waste your assets, your inheritance will multiply, it will stand, it will grow, it will be established in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let the power 
You are defeating that Western womb. And Baba, your boy, your boy, quiet, cut here. Soon, soon, Bonnie Piara. I'm as I am into the front yard of my own bauma, and as a mopa, I know I said, one of our pompey to your dead, a month you move. On a mere papa now for the mutual agent of duty. As if Piara was the best answer, and as if Piara bear the bear were calling him on said the Biarda. It was my class four teacher who made me realize that there can be a spirit that can perpetuate wastefulness in lives. Those days when you go to school, when they ask you for money to come and pay maybe exam fees or something, and you go to the teacher and say you don't have, her answer, to, her question to you will be, oh, he had to, please, pardon me, today I came in my gallery, and I'll give you the English interpretation. Oh, he had to, and yes, she had to, in other words, it's the poverty tree planted in your family. That is why every time when you come, you don't have money for anything. Any tree of poverty, say cut down, cut down. Any tree of failure, any tree of shame, any tree of backwardness, any tree of lack, any tree of emptiness, any tree of wasting, cut down, cut down, cut down. Let's go. Instead of generational poverty, you have generational wealth. Amen. I plant a tree of wealth in your family. I plant a tree of greatness in your family. And may water from heaven water that tree. For whatsoever the Lord does is forever. Oh, is somebody receiving it? Also, any no only no I felt in a day or you know, we see him yet to the moon here. Diana say, Nazi, yes, 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 if you are Yanabano, we see him yet to the moon. Yanabana say, Nayate, a promise, if you are any grasso, we see him yet to him. Grassana say, yes, the union, yes, if you are. If you just joined us, we prayed first. We prayed prayer top two prayer topics already from Proverbs chapter. 30 verse 16. We dealt with the grave. No spirit of death will come for you this year. Mana, manaba. Isembo. Manaba. Yes, Jabon pay be a curio woman. Yes, Nezu. That the mafi or who on the way for you or who on for way for you. Our second prayer topic was against the spirit of wastage. Especially the one that wastes what you have worked for. That must give you wealth. Moto de be yeah. As I on my BBI be a oil qua. Every spirit of poverty that wastes prosperity in our families, we chop it down. The third spirit that never gets satisfied until it has done what it wants, the scripture has it. Please, verse 16. It says, The earth that never gets filled. Or satisfied with water. Motor de Bassa, Ea de Ashim Sasa, you sue on to me, man. Other versions say the dry ground. The ground that is so dry that when rain falls, it will soak everything up and its surface will be dry again. And you will not even notice that water has entered. Mokabudio, as I saw, I always say, we see the suit today. Something that you work at, but it never, ever, ever, ever turns around. That is the dry ground. As it collects your sacrifices, it collects your efforts. A child that you are raising with every trick in the good parenting book, but the child is always getting worse and worse. It's a dry ground situation. As I saw, we see anybody there. I will be let us see when I'm assuming. Hey, a day I learn our friend. I say, as if you are baby, I know we say, I a day I'm afraid to be simple and shamali. You know, a business that you have tried every skill in the consulting books but never turns around. An economy that all options are failed on dry ground. And I know that many Ghanaians can identify with this, particularly counting from the year 2020 to today. Many of us can identify that we are going through dry places and dry grounds. But as I was meditating on this scripture, the only thing the Lord kept showing me was that there was a dry ground and it was parting and breaking and a plant was germinating out of that dry ground. I pray.
prophesy any investment you made in 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, this year 2024 is your payback. And you may be a bear, a bear, and a human in the year. And so twenty twenty. May it be an oil in the sunset. The amount of people may twenty twenty, twenty twenty one, twenty two by payment, then now couple of them why I'm bro. A dreadful fifty out the years. Oh, I will remember Ghana in this prayer. Okay, Ghana, what I'm on by feelings that we have run out of options. Uh, Ghana, what's your pa? But by the word of the prophet. That this year is the year of supernatural recovery. Come on, we are going to stand on that one, and our dry ground will bring a harvest. Yeah, baby, I got a cold. You're in my memo, my memo. I'm here, Zanafa. By the way, your papa, oh yeah, yeah, some more lower them ha. Walk out of the mafi, oh yeah, Zendempa. I'm not going to change any. Wash and number. May I be an obey? The ground soaks all the water and it goes down. So it means that deep down the ground. There's some water there. Assassin to Musunina or Chad Assassin, I say, in Sue Homono, Libosem, I bones him. Deep down that business, there is some money there. A German alien, Sikabu, a German, I say, Deep down that empty headed child, there is some intelligence there. Open and it's a win, you miss you when it's him. Deep down that ministry. That is left with five people. There are thousands in the spirit. And wherever they are hiding in the spirit, Pastor, this year is your payback. Your church will be filled. What you put them on, I can pay them. Say, I don't do a room. Baby, now a room. I don't want to feel me. I hope I'll be you. Now, when you are our prayer is the Lord. This 2024 is our payback. Yampa Boni, around 2024, Mayen Ranji. Apostle General, thank God I was raised in this church. In the 90s, I saw you write on a banner in IBWC, oppressing 21,000 souls. It has been more than 30 years. Now, you have made the capacity and the room for it. God must pay you back. You have not built city of Shiloh for nothing. You didn't buy 100 acre land just for it to be a showpiece. It must be occupied. And today, whatever your sweat means, whatever your toil means, today we'll call it from, from the ground. It must show. Let me share this story in a minute. There's a couple in this building who built their dream house, their retirement house. Whilst they were building, they decided to dig a well because the area that they bought the land, Ghana water does not go there. So they decided to build a well. Ladies and gentlemen, before they do the well, they brought experts from the University of Ghana to scan the whole community. And they said, in that community, you cannot get a single drop of water from there, even if you dig a well. But they tried and dug a well. Deep, deep down, no water was coming. Then they were introduced to something called hydrofracturing. What is hydrofracturing? It's a technology where you pump in high pressure water to go and hit the rocks so that deposits of water in the rocks will come out and create now a well for you. Hey, hey, come on. They did the hydrofraction. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? They went for three tracks of water. This was eight years ago. And they put it high pressure into the well that they had dug that had no water. From that day, today is the eighth year and they have been having running water to today. In their house, they have a fountain flowing from that well. In their house, they have a fish pond that is being fed from the well. What am I saying? After this prayer, you have money from your business that will open other chains of businesses.
from the growth of this oil tomb, our assemblies will catch a drop of water and will spread in the nations like wildfire. But this is what makes it a miracle, not technology. Other neighbors have come to the area. They have tried the hydro fractioning. But mommy, they have never had water. The only house that has incessant flow of water is the house of the royals. The covenant of this altar speaks. Oh, yeah. oh. Our whole community, only royals have water. Today, we don't have a bucket of water, but you have a sacrifice. The three trucks that they went with was their sacrifice to get incessant flow of water. You are going to pick a sacrifice and you are going to provoke the altar to cause there to be a payback with multiplication for all your sweat and tongue. Say, my father, my father, as I lift up my sacrifice, as I come to the altar, as I, come to I the provoke altar, my heart down to you back for me to you what I have sold into it. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. In Palaba, in Paname Koshanda, Apela Brado Koshaya, and the Bible said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Will you not see it? I will make a way in the wilderness, and a river will flow in the dry places. Wherever you are, the Lord is making a river in your dry grounds. The Lord is making a river in your dry business. The Lord is making a river in your dry marriage. Whatever your dry ground is, the Lord is making a way. The Lord is making water to cast out from the dry ground. Your blessing will overflow. Your testimonies will overflow. Your miracles will overflow. Your dry ground will be healed. And the Bible said that if my people will humble themselves and they will pray unto me, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. I don't know what your dry ground is, but our prayer tonight and by our sacrifice, the Lord will heal our Lift land. up your voice, clap your hands. You can come to the altar because today the altar is releasing our results. The altar is releasing our reward. The altar is releasing the answer you have been praying for. Tonight we have come to the spiritual place and speech day that the Lord will give us what we need. In the name of Jesus, what are you looking for? If hydro, yes. fracturing, fracturing, can give water, give water. then spiritual, spiritual. Fracturing, fracturing, can give you, can give you what, you what you need. Connect, 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 and collect, collect, connect, and collect, and collect, collect, lift up your voice like Jacob today. We are coming to the place uh, called Bethel, and we are bringing our sacrifice at that same place. Jacob connected and he collected his blessings in the name of Jesus. What are you longing to see? What have you been praying about? Hebrews chapter 11, even verse 6 uh, for our God, uh, He is the rewarder of day that diligently seek. Him, your reward is coming. You have come to the secret place called on your door. Your reward is coming openly. The world will hear of you, the world will hear of your business, the world will hear of your children. Clap your hands, somebody. Lift up your voice right now. Come on, go ahead in prayer. Let every part crown receive in the name of the Lord Jesus a divine enablement to flourish in the name of Jesus come on now you are praying whatever seems dead in your life by your prayer this evening it is coming back to life they said you dwell in a patch ground but the anointing from above is giving life to that which is dead I read the other day the Bible said the enemy comes uh, to steal, uh, to kill, uh, to destroy. But I have come uh, that ye might have life. Uh, I see life overflow, uh, overflow, 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 overflow. By your sacrifice, by your, sacrifice, by your prayer, by your prayer, you're provoking, you're provoking, you're out down, you're out down, your difficult business, your, difficult your business, back child, your back to time, move, uh, to move to the next level, to the next level. Come on now, go ahead. Uh, by divine authority, we command uh, that which is dead uh, come back.
back to life uh, that which is dry come back to life uh, let gushing streams uh, flow forth uh, from our backgrounds uh, hey uh, I am the Lord uh, who makes a way where there seems to be no way. I am the Lord uh, who makes uh, waters uh, flow in the desert. Uh, pray. Go ahead, go ahead, somebody, wherever you are. In the name of nice. Jesus. I will not do justice to this scripture if I don't deal with the fourth one. And it says the fourth one is the fire. Uh, that dares not to say enough. All the other three, they are silent killers. But there is one. It is very bold and praising. It says, as for me, I tell everybody that I've not had enough. Church, there is fire that bends and bends and bends and never knows enough. Somebody, you are watching me online. Isaiah says in Isaiah chapter 5, verse 14, that hell has opened herself up and wants people to descend into it. Hell is a place of fire that will burn till eternity. If I think of fire, that never says enough. It is hell fire. The reason why we have become the altar is not only for prosperity and material transformation, but that souls will be snatched out of the fire. Selection a motor runnan yoja oja be say ne ne mo ye yi wana wo nyim nyankopon ye zo aba nyankopon no we hu ye. Maybe you are saying to me Reverend Nat, I'm not dying yet. God bless you for your long life. Reverend Nat Nothing is being wasted in my life. No problem. Reverend Nat, I have it in abundance. But are you sure that you can escape the bold one? Which is the fire that has opened itself up. Gentleman, lady, please, it is time to submit to Christ who can quench the fire of hell and give you a safe passage. into true rest because after this life we are going to a place where there is no barrenness where there are no graves and where there is abundance of wealth the streets there are the streets of gold would you choose that or choose the hellfire which has opened itself up tonight I want the church to pray a fourth prayer you know somebody I know somebody. Our father said that the home stands for salvation. Today I lift up the home of salvation. Wherever you are, lift up your voice in intercession. We are praying for our loved ones, our friends, our business partners. That they will escape hell. That they will escape hell. No, 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 we extend our prayer, we extend our cry, we declare hellfire will not touch them. We declare they will not perish in their sin. We declare homosexuality will not consume them. We declare lesbianism will not consume them. 
we declare corruption will not consume them in the name of Jesus on this altar of our Father as we hold the horns of this altar we declare their salvation is guaranteed in the name of Jesus wherever they are in the United States in Sierra Leone in United Kingdom in Navrogo we intercede for them on this altar and we pray none shall be lost our children who have gone astray heavenly father on our knees as mothers as fathers as brothers as sisters oh god we arrest their hearts for jesus we arrest their lives for the gospel and we declare the devil shall not have a hand over them in the name of jesus but the horn of the altar yes which is the horn of salvation yes we receive holy ghost baptism yes. as a church yes. to counter the fires of hell lord stay a fire yes. in royal house chapel yes. make us praising and praise in our year of courage yes. and bravery yes. cause us to take nations those that hell is looking for as we step there may the fire upon us quench the fires of hell by the horn of the altar in Jesus name lift up your two hands lift up your two hands there there is a presence of the miracle power the supernatural is in this place come on clap your hands and say Lord I need the supernatural Come on, lift up your hands and say, Lord, I need your wings to overshadow me. Come on, Lord, come on, your clap your hands. I don't know what you are looking for tonight, but I can guarantee you what you are looking for. God has it in abundance for you. Tonight, you will live here with laughter and joy and power and recovery and restoration. If you are the one I am talking to, clap your hands and scream, I am the one. I am the one. Clap your hands and scream, I am the one. I am the one. Shout and make a joyful noise of victory. Hey. Lift up your hands. Spirit lead my trust where without borders. Come on now. Spirit lead me when my trust is without borders. Let hey. me walk upon the waters wherever you will call me. Take me, take me deep. Deeper. My feet could ever wander. Is that your prayer? And my faith will be Is that your prayer? May the Lord take you and put your trust with our bodies. Come on. Spirit, lead me where my trust is with our bodies. Let me walk upon the waters. This year, you walk upon the waters. This year, doors will open upon you. This year, the key of covenant and the key of mercy and the key of grace is gone ahead of you. If you are the one I am talking to, clap your hands and shout, I am the one. Shout, I am the one. Spirit! Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Hallelujah. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you will call me take me deeper take me deep than my faith could ever wonder could ever wonder and my faith and my faith will be made stronger in the, in the presence, presence of my say it again spirit come on now. spirit when my trust is without borders come on lift up your voice Shout a shout of victory. Swim in anointing. Let the glory of the Lord 
Let the glory of the Lord clap your hands. Shandari Messiah. Kaya Namo Sikade. Take me. Take me deep on the my feet will never wander. And my faith will be made stronger. As a summer. Say it again. Spirit. Clap your hands. Make a joyful noise. Clap your hands. That church is in prayer. Take me. Take me deep. But that my feet could never wander. And my faith will be even stronger. In the presence of my Savior. Spirit. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive the miracle. Clap your hands and say, I receive it. Receive your miracle. Receive healing. Receive deliverance. Deliverance of darkness. Deliverance from pestilence. Deliverance from shame. Deliverance. Take it. Take it. Auditorium. Upper level. Level one. Level two. Online. Kosovo, Ghana, West Africa, Nigeria, clap your hands, pray. Oh, Shana Bosa, Shana Bosa, Shana Bosa, Shana Bosa, Shana Bosa, Shana Bosa, we are in prayer. The angel of the Lord has stirred the water. The water is stirred. Jump into the water. Jump into the water. Swim, swim, swim. In the glory. In the glory. In the glory. In the power. In the glory. In the glory. Swim. In the anointing. Right now. Right now. Right now. The altar is speaking. The altar. I see the Lord. He has stretched the horn. Hold the horn. Hold the horn. Hold the horn. Salvation. Salvation. Healing. Deliverance. It's your passion. Right to that. 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 Receive it. 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 Receive it, wherever you may call out. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters. Wherever you will call me, take me deeper. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. And my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. I will call upon your name. Keep my eyes upon the waves. When the oceans rise, so will rest in your embrace. For I am yours. Jesus, come on up. You are Say it again. Oh, I will call. I will call upon you. I want to hear the church. When we call the name Jesus, every knee bows and every tongue confesses. When we say Jesus, darkness flees and light comes. When we say Jesus, then the oil is poured. When we say Jesus, there is healing. When we say Jesus, there is restoration. When we Jesus, and you are mine.
when oceans rise, I will lift you on the bridge. Say, I will call upon your name. Say it again. Shout it. Let the devil hear that you are calling. Say, I will call upon your name. Keep my eyes upon my soul. My soul will rest in your hands. Stay where you are. There's somebody you are you are you are standing in your miracle spot. There's somebody you are standing in your miracle spot. You are standing in your miracle spot. There, there's somebody where you are. That's where God is coming to you. Where you are. God God knows your location here tonight. God knows what that you are in the service here tonight. God knows your heart tonight. God knows what you are crying about tonight. Hey. And I tell you, God already made a provision for you. Go here, you will live here with laughter and celebration and joy. Who is this person that I am talking to? Clap your hands and scream, I am the one. Verse number five. Don't write it. Just, just read it from the screen with me. Psalm ninety-one, verse number five. Shout it with the loudest voice you can. Come on, ready? Go. Of the terror by night, nor of the arrow. Ladies and gentlemen, have you noticed that when the devil is coming, he doesn't come in the day. He starts in the night and the manifestation is in the day. Because he knows that in the night you cannot see. Because it is darkness. But what he doesn't know is that when we say Jesus, there is light. In him was life and the life was the light of men. And the light shone and darkness could not prevail. Tonight, whatever the devil has started in the dark, that is waiting for the noon day. Clap your hands and shout backfire. Shout again, backfire. Now, now watch, watch. He's not finished. This is just verse 5. Look at verse number 6. Look at verse number 6. And you know that that is his method of operation. Ready, go. Verse number 6. Nor of the pestilence that walks in, nor the destruction. So the pestilence starts in darkness, and by noon day, there is a destruction. Kabota Sakabaya. And the pestilence that is going ahead of you whilst we are here tonight. And the gathering taking place in darkness. And they are mentioning your name and the names of your children and your profession and your business and everything concerns you. Clap your hands and shout, let there be light. Clap your hands and say, let there be light. Be light. Shout and say, and the pestilence, and the pestilence, and then the arrow, and then the arrow fly in the night, fly in the night, because of me, because of me, and my house, and my house, and the arrow, and the arrow, of political trouble, of political trouble, fly in darkness, fly in darkness, to hit us in December, to hit us in December, and the arrow, and the arrow, and the pestilence, and the pestilence, that is going, that is going, in my journey, in my journey, so that I don't reach my so journey, I don't reach my destination by fire. Fire. Scatter. 
scatter, scatter, scatter. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Take authority. Yes, Lord. Take your position. Take your position. At the altar. At the altar. Hold the horn. Hold the horn. And cry. And cry. Liberty. Liberty. Deliverance. Deliverance. My God. My God. Deliver me. Deliver me. From evil. From evil. Jesus says. Jesus says. When you pray. When you pray. Say, deliver us. Say, deliver us. From evil. From evil. Deliver us. Deliver us. From evil. From evil. This is January. This is January. And the darkness. And the darkness. And the pestilence. And the pestilence. And the arrow. And the arrow. Fly. Fly. Over your house. Over your house. Over your school. Over your school. Over your children. Over your children. Your finances. Your, finances. your business. Your business. They don't want you. Yes, Lord. To be healthy. To be healthy. Clap, Clap your hands. Aspire. 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 Every pestilence. Every pestilence. Shall wither. Shall wither. Cancel it. 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 Cancel it
something you need to know about your God. Your God has this tendency of calling the things that be not as though they were. Yes. So it's all right when people call you barren. It's all right when they say you are sick and you have no husband. It's okay when they say you are poor. It's okay when they disrespect you. But what they don't know is that God doesn't see your today. God sees tomorrow from your today. He called the things that be not as though they were. Your God has the tendency of making a highway in the wilderness. Your God has the tendency of extracting water in your desert. And the man of God said, Beneath the dryness is water waiting for you. Hey. Hey. 2024. Your enemies will see you and bow their heads. 2024. Those who are planning to bring fire and judgment in December. They will be disappointed. There are some of you. You have already decided how you are going to vote. But God will shock you. Because God has already elected the president. And he has already elected the parliamentarians. So God doesn't care. Your political affiliation. He doesn't care. Your card membership. When you go there, whoever you are going to put your thumb on, if it's the wrong person, the Lord will give you a knock pie. And the Lord will take your thumb and place it on the right way. Somebody runs. Say yes. Yes. Demand three about two hours. Maybe I can go to a man. Sene na kupo na we ina na kupo ba sukoto wadambu tini mahaba abatu aban na ma na kupo in we in deda president parliamentarian this is the one ya na kupo in we deda say ma bonsa mbato na na jubia doza ba wadon enda dema film we ni ye watu na na jua azabatin ne ne ukuni mizi deda tell someone that's standing by your left and right say when you see the wicked one tell him he should not cross me. Before, if he crosses me, I will fire him down. Oh, come on, tell yeah. them, tell them they should not cross me. Tell them they should not dare me. If they try me, they will know that I have a potent altar and I have a powerful God who called the things that be not as though they were. God doesn't have to see it, but when God says it, let it be. And in the beginning he said, he created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without void, and there was emptiness, and there was darkness, and God said, let there be light. This year, I make you the representative of God in your house. When you say, let it be, it will be. Yes. When you call it, heaven will respond. Yes. When you call money, money must hear. Yes. When you call healing, healing must hear. Yes. When you call breakthrough, breakthrough must yes. clap your hands and say, Let there be light. Yes. Say it again. Yes. Darkness is living, yes. darkness is running. Yes. The pestilence, yes. the arrow yes. waiting. Yes. Let there be light. Yes. They are waiting for manifestation in the day but the devil is a liar clap your hands professor pray the bible said in him was light and the light was the light of man and the light shone in darkness and darkness comprehended it not tonight and the arrow and the pestilence from the dark kingdom against your life your family your children tonight let God arise let the arrow let us scatter by fire by the altar of our father we lift up of Jesus last prophecy 
Are you ready for this one? Yes. Verse number five. Verse number six. The devil starts from darkness, waiting for noonday. Then he will show up manifestation. As we stand here right now, they have gathered against us. They are planning against us. But what they don't know is that they are in darkness and we are in they are in darkness and we are and they are waiting for light to come so that they will manifest their evil but what they don't know is that the light is already shining ah, the light is already shining they are in the we will soon watch the what it's all about, what we know. No one in there, yeah, hi, but when him there, watch that, yeah, hi, but please. It's why I'm about on the end in the hand, but poor, what do you mean? First number seven, 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 first number seven. First number seven. with a loud voice, ready, go. First number seven, ready, go. By Katonibi Kataya, and the thousand enemies that have gathered against you when they reach where you are, may the light in you cause them to fall. Say, fall, 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 fall. And then they are planning to invade you on your wedding day, but they will fall. They will fall. They are waiting for you. Yeah, 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 wherever they are waiting, a thousand may fall on your left, and a thousand will fall on your right because the Lord has risen upon you. Shout yes! Yes! A people to talk and come, now people are to talk with him. One bell, one bell, baby. One jump bell, baby. When you book was it, baby, be our papa, one be a and was a back on if then a coupon. The Lord says, I should tell Mama Richard, she's crying for the 30th anniversary of royal ladies. She should stop crying because God has already gone ahead. The Lord will provide, she will build, she will finish it by the hand of the Lord. Because God will provide when there is no provision. Yes. This is our God. Jesus. We see dry ground, patch ground, but beneath is the water. Yes. You will find your water. Yes. Clap your hands and shout and receive it. Yes. Come on. Mommy Monstro. Now, Miss Wendy, where's Wendy McKay? I'm a book of Shiloh. No man, I could pop a boy and now I hear. Baby, it's Kiffy or Baba. Spirit, wake up. Come on. Break our walls down. Is that your prayer? Spirit, come down. Break our walls down. Spirit, break up. Look for some people and say the spirit is breaking your walls down. Professor. Break our walls down. Professor, I said the spirit, spirit is Spirit break out. Spirit break out. Break our walls down. Come on. Hallelujah. <laughs> break our walls down. Some people are not moving and I'm surprised. Spirit break out. Come on.
sure you are my spirit? Are you sure you are my anointing? Come on, show me, show me the anointing. Show me your movement. Show me your energy. Show me your fight. Show me your energy. Let the Lord know you are not ashamed of the altar of your father. You are not ashamed to praise. You are not ashamed to dance. You are not ashamed to celebrate. Mighty man, are you sure? Announce yourself. Announce yourself. Let this young man know the energy, the spirit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Small boys, can you leave us alone? Small boys, sit, sit, sit. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on. Where's 
Come and take your handkerchief away. It is yours, eh? Let's, hey! give, God, let's give God a mighty clap and a mighty praise. Yes, what do you call Over Satan power. Desire to call him Since we started the convention prayer, the Lord has been asking me to raise this song as a sign that we have defeated the altars that are against us. Yeah. We have defeated the juju powers that are against us. Where they are meeting in darkness and very pestilence. Yes, we are doing All the Satan power. Messiah de Kunimo. Aye. Amaro. Messiah de Kunim. Yes, what he could eat. All the strength and power. Aye. Messiah de Kunimo. Amaro Bakama. Messiah, yes, what he could eat. Yes, what he could eat. You will dance into your miracle. You will dance into your promotion. You will dance into your victory. Shout and receive it. Abadi na mumi etu ozana. Ayi fo ina ribo. Yes no ribo. I'm an overcomer. Mumi etu ozana. Ayi fo ina. Please be seated. Please be seated. 
celebration but when you start your own celebration yeah. nothing can stop your celebration somebody run and shout at us Sit down. But you won't go for Sit down. You know. Sit down. Let's clear this one quickly. Let's take this one off our way and then we are ready to exit. Number one. Everyone who has been touched by the power and the presence of God in these 21 days of prayer and fasting since day one. Because as the leader said tonight, can you follow and Miracles are good. That's why we are here. God, we thank God for miracles. Our was this see only thing I about DP was this see that the Nanko Ponce our Zosi won. Testimonies are powerful. Good. I don't see the Nanri as in Oyala. But the greatest of all the miracles is the miracle of salvation through Christ Jesus. My adult increase that clap offering for me. My adult, no, I have fell. I am not better than Uncle Poya was a case. Neither will be Ben and Quanji in Embry. And as I said in my calendar this year, I said, When you find Christ, you have found God. And when you found, find God, you have found the path to your destiny and your prophetic destiny. Every journey begins with Jesus Christ coming into your life to be your Lord and your personal Savior. And then number two, when you receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, we then introduce you to the doctrine of baptism where spiritually you die with Christ and spiritually you resurrect with him into a new life. Meaning that whatever has defeated you in previous years and previous days and weeks this newness of life now puts you in the path of revelation and where your mind now begins to attain the mind of Christ where clearly you can see the difference of your attitude yesterday and your attitude in Come the on. future you can see that the things you could not overcome now you are able to overcome because you are now filled with the word of God and you are filled with the spirit of God Increase that clap offering. Say who Christo we are. Yazo fe subom. E subom ni a wo fo fra yaze mo na mim. The me subom ni free mufia. Afi de tin an kupon in zi ye. E win an kupon no buta ya owo mo asasi do. Ne tin an kupon na se na tin asi ye. So I want to invite you quickly here to pray with you. If you are here and you say you are looking for a shepherd, you are a sheep, but you've lost your way. You are a sheep, but you are not grounded in the things of God. You are a sheep, but you are not under covering. And then God has brought you here in these weeks and days. And then you are saying, I want this man standing there to be my shepherd, the shepherd of my soul, to be my spiritual father. I want to connect to the altar that he stands upon, and I want to connect to the voice that God has given to him. I want to submit to his spiritual covering. We call that one shepherding. Shepherding, shepherding, run forward right now to me. Two, you are here, you are already born again, but you have never had the opportunity of experiencing the spiritual death with Christ and the spiritual resurrection through baptism. 
and you want to Wednesday we are meeting all of you for the baptismal class and coming Friday today's week we are baptizing you in the baptistry at Ahimfie please walk up to me now I want to pray with you quickly quickly and then I'll be inviting the mothers with their babies and then the pregnant women and we'll minister to them uh, uh, tonight as we have advertised already walk forward to me mm -hmm. upstairs upper level this is the time you have to break every spiritual barrier and distance and shyness Walk right, 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 celebrate them as they are coming. So one, Jesus must be your Lord. Two, you want to be baptized. You want to be baptized. You want to be baptized. Run forward right now. Right forward right now. Don't be intimidated by the crowd. Don't be intimidated by the crowd. Your salvation is more important. Your salvation is key. It is important. You are the reason why we are doing the week of the altar. You are the reason why we are preaching. You are the reason why. Can you start with them right now so we don't waste time? So, hallelujah. So, so we are visiting for you this book, booklet for you. Please run, run. Let's give them, let's clap as they are coming. If, if you brought somebody and the person is shy, ask the person if you want to step forward and then you help him or her and bring him to the altar and bring her to the altar help the person you brought the person encourage him tell the person once upon a time you also walked through the eye once upon a time you came to receive jesus once upon a time you submitted yourself for baptism once upon a time you took a decision to connect to your father's altar once upon a time you took a decision to 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 come under spiritual control and i love arita i love your son because uh, don't take for granted that because they were born into this church they are automatically born oh, again don't take that chance the parents who think that their children were born here and uh, dedicated here so they are born again no born again is a personal decision personal decision personal decision personal decision my son pastor papa is what he is because he had a personal encounter my daughter nanakos had a personal encounter my children had personal encounters with god and they submitted themselves to baptism and to accept Jesus Christ and they went through discipleship school and discipleship classes that is why they are doing what they are doing so it doesn't come automatic please encourage your sons and your daughters to make a move tonight let's keep clapping as that they are coming from upstairs if someone Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. God bless you, mommy, for encouraging your daughter. Thank you. Parents, encourage your daughters, encourage your sons, encourage them. You think they are already born again because they were born in this church. Don't make that mistake. Being born again and knowing Christ is a personal decision. Personal decision. It's by personal understanding and personal revelation. Who do men say that I am? And what do you also say that I am? And he said, you are the Christ. He said, the flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. But my Father who is in heaven revealed this to you. Let's keep clapping, clapping as they are coming. Being born in this church does not make you born again. It only gives you the opportunity to hear the word of God and to be covered by the spirit and the anointing. Pochose wa Wednesday, ebeje ni maybe a Wednesday. Yes, you won in our him fear and in beer sex. Yes, you be our him fear. A super book or do we have no boys on Pochobra? No, young boys. Wednesday, baptismal school, discipleship school for the first timers. Wednesday, 6 p.m. Wednesday, 6 p.m. at Ahimfie. Old members, as I encourage you, do us the honors and the favor by helping somebody and bring the person. Some of them, they may not have money for transport. Pay their transport here. And you have done your godly duty and godly assignment. One day, when they become spiritual giants, the testimony also goes into your account. Wednesday, 
But your move be no one for calling, bro. What band no one for Jesus Christ? Keep coming, there? keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Run, run, run. Don't be intimidated by the crowd. Don't be intimidated by the distance. This is the altar. Run for your salvation. Uh -huh. On Sunday, I will be inviting you again and the others who will be making their decision. And then on Wednesday night, 6 p.m., we shall meet you at Ahimfie. Friday, when you are coming for prayer service, come with t-shirt and come with a shirt. When we finish, you change yourself in the bathroom. We'll baptize you. And then you are a full member of Royal House Chapel. And then you start discipleship classes next Monday. Let's, let's, let's give God a mighty clap. But your Sunday, but chapel, Papa, but say from home or be new man. I wanna why why doing that Sunday? No, what's wrong? But me now, I'm going to work at home. Abaha. When is this? Six p.m. Yeshua in fear. Aha, manum Yeshua home manum. Friday, what boy soon? But your leba. Now she Bibi are able to that boy soon. Now she be safun and be you funi. I want share so there. Friday, no what boy soon. Now when is this? It's Oyan Church. Now Monday. National Foundation School as our church or as a free no but a in a maybe I book with Uncle Pony lift up your two hands the booklet you are having is all that you have to know about Royal House Chapel and what we do here and the groups that you can associate with uh, everything that you have heard here is simplified over there for you uh, within 30 minutes an hour you should be able to finish reading that book Pray it aloud and pray it with boldness. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart and take you as my Lord and Savior, my personal Savior and my personal Lord. Thank you for dying for me and for shedding your blood on the cross so that I will be free from the stronghold of darkness. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come into my heart, into my heart. And, help me in this journey, and help me in this journey that I will be a faithful Christian, be a faithful an Christian, obedient, Christian, obedient Christian to walk in holiness, walk in holiness and in righteousness, in righteousness and to prepare myself, to prepare myself for, the coming of our Lord Jesus. for the coming of our Lord Jesus. My Father, my, Father, my, Lord, my Lord, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity, for this opportunity and for this grace. For this grace. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. shout a big Amen. Amen. So you will turn and then uh, Dr. Ransom, if you just stand, they will shake hands with you. Reverend Agri, they will shake hands with you and then they take their seats. So turn back and then there are two men of God. Start from the right. Start from the right. Start from the right. My right. Start from my right. Dr. V. Johnson, just stand there. Go, go ahead, sons. Very good. Stop that young man. That young man should come back. Tell young man to follow the kid. These people are confused. Come back. 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 Very good. All right. There are two angels there. Shake hands with them and then take your seat. Wonderful. Mothers. Bring your miracle babies to the altar right now. I am ready. Miracle babies. Babies that are yes, born to this ready. altar in the year 2023. Please bring them. I am ready. Husbands, if you can follow them. Wives and husbands. You. Wives and husbands, if you can bring your babies. I am ready. We want to celebrate the miracle yes, baby. I'm we want to celebrate what God has blessed you. Ready. Come in. For you. But so I will phone one for one, but I'm ready. One man and I could also do more. I feel to me. Are you twenty twenty three? Bring your yes, miracle babies ready. to us here. But so one for one, but I'm ready. I am ready for you. Please hurry up! Please hurry up! So we can make some time. I am ready. Yes, God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Let's clap as they are coming from the mother's corner. Come on, let's celebrate these miracle babies. Please.
Bring out the miracle babies. Bring out the miracle babies. Bring out the miracle babies. Bring out the miracle. Come, 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 come up. Come up. Generation Reverend, Reverend Emmanuel. Quick interviews. Reverend Emmanuel. Uh, Pastor Naka. Reverend Naka. Praise you. Let's do that quickly. Uh huh. Baby, baby, young man, young man. We are already some already prepared for us. Yeah, just quick ones. Young man, I'm not going to do anything. I feel to me. Tell them your story quickly, Reverend Naka, Reverend uh, Pastor Mawen, uh, Joshua Mawen, Mawen, where are you? Man, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. Onishmos, interview this woman quickly. This one, interview this one. Uh, Dr. Arno, please, come, 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 come. Let's, let's keep clapping as they are coming. Then I ask the Lord, what is with you? These are the set of tools. Yes, yes I, I think I know something about this miracle. Yeah. Interview them. Generations yeah. after generations. So, those are your miracles. We'll start with you because we know this. It it's no one sets you on. This miracle, we know this one already. What names with you? And his let's, let's have this one first. Let's have this one first. Parents, we are waiting for you. Please hurry, 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 hurry. Yeah, the hard one. Yeah. yeah, the Holy One, Yahweh, Yahweh, the King. All right, let's start with this first one. I have, I know this one already, so I can do that. Please come, Pastor. Let's give God a magic clap. Anybody who doubts the power of God, let this testimony change your mind. Where's your wife? You are the wife. Eh, stand there, you are not. <laughs> Microphone. When did you marry? Uh, 17 years ago. 17 years? Exactly. And you were waiting for the fruitfulness of the womb. Yes, daddy. During those 17 years, what were some of the challenges and the difficulties and the shame? And the ridicule that you went through. Tell them. Daddy, you'll be very shocked that I think um, in last year, after Sunday service, I told myself that I wanted to pass my mother's house and say hello to my mommy. Use the microphone. Say hello to my mommy. But to my shock, when I get to the hall, I saw one of my aunties chatting with my mother. So you went to visit your mother after Sunday service and you saw an auntie chatting with your mother. Yes, daddy. What was the conversation about? So this my auntie asked me, is my wife still around? I said, yes. Is she giving bed? I said, no. And she said, what are we still waiting for? Can't you suck her? <laughs> I said, Clap your hands. I said, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. So, so she, he was visiting the parents and something was cooking in darkness ready to spring upon you by the noon day but the noon day when it came there was jesus oh somebody celebrate your coming breakthrough shout i receive it i receive it that it will be interesting to you to hear this thing so i told my auntie that you know i am a suffer i can never divorce my wife because she's they, not giving child she's not giving yes exactly so what I told her, I said, my God will do it. And she, the response that she gave to me, you know, you, I know certain pastors and certain yourself, I know they divorce their wife, they can go and burn outside. I said, no, me, I will not do it. Because I know that my covenant will speak. Then she said to me, clap your hands, manus me. Manus me. Then she said, do this for my sake. I said, I cannot do it. I know my God will do it. Then my mother turned her face and said to me, Son, it will be okay. I said, son, it will be okay. And I told my mother that the God that I served in royal house, I have sent Apostle General for so many years, as, uh, so many years, even from the days when we came here, 
the very next, the very first week that we came, I said, no, this is the place that I worship. So I did it from my heart each and every Sunday, praying for the man of God. Don't meet him. 4.30, 4 o'clock, here, praying for them. And I told my mother that my God that I serve, my God can never deny me. I told them that we shall give birth. I told them. You prophesied that day. I prophesied. That and, and then, and then, then what happened? How, how did your wife break the news to you that God has answered your prayer? Daddy, it will shock you. You preach a sermon and you said, Wait until I come from Shiloh. I say, hey, wait please. until I come from Shiloh. Wait until I come from, from Shiloh. Shiloh. Yes, exactly. So I took it upon myself. And that very day that I got to Shiloh, I was very sick, covering. I said, no, this is my assignment. So I slept in my car for a good three days. After Shiloh. that, yes, Shiloh. Yes, I slept in my car. So after evening service, from one o'clock to four o'clock, I go to the altar and offer prayer three good solid hours for three days. That is nine hours. You were sitting in your sleeping in your car. Sleeping in my car. After every day, you go to the altar alone. Yes, daddy. And then pray throughout for three days, nine hours in total. Exactly, daddy. Scream faith. Favor. Somebody shout faith. Faith. So one week exactly, as we came to, to the house, then my wife said she's feeling something dizzy and things. So I said, one week after Shiloh, exactly. this year after Shiloh, something will happen to somebody. Yes, somebody clap your hands and receive it. I receive it. This year, convention of saints, something will happen to somebody. Yes. WMG, something will happen to somebody. Yes! Men's conference, something will happen to somebody. We receive it! Every Sunday in this auditorium, something will happen to somebody. Yes! Somebody jump high and say, I am the one. I am the one! Then I told my wife, 2024 to... is the year of supernatural. Jesus. Daddy, I told my wife that you have to visit the doctor. One week after Shiloh. And sadly, Daddy, then she visited the doctor. Then the doctor said, listen, I've seen something good and, you know, I, I have a good news for you. Then it was being released to her. So fast track, she came to the house. I said, oh, honey, you have been in the house for, you know, early, you have come early. And so there's a good news. I said, what is the good news? She said, she's pregnant. I said, pregnant? Then you have to be happy. Then she started crying. I said, why do you cry? She started, started crying. She started crying. My God. Crying. Because Answered. She didn't know God would do it exactly. 17 for years. 17 good solid years. That is, you'll be shocked. The, the adultery, my auntie couldn't show up. Kabali be Satan name Ada. I burn certain people from showing up at your adultery. Jesus. Uh, I was rejected here. Cannot do business here. I ban certain people for showing up at the opening of your house. Jesus. Come on, can I prophesy to my son? Certain people will not attend your wedding. Because God will cut them off. Clap your hands and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Cut them off. 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 They will show up. Because when they show up, they will disturb the atmosphere. Wow! Then the icy of it, <laughs> we snap picture. The picture that we took with you, Daddy. Yeah. I showed it to my mother. The mother, my mother was so happy. I said, "Mommy, do you know what? I want that my auntie of mine. Let her know that." I serve a living God. And the one that I serve under the, for so many years, covenant has spoken for me. So I want you to send that picture to that my auntie. <laughs> and he said, oh, son, you know, when I send it, there will be, there will be contention and there will be quarry. Mommy, I said, you have to do this for me. I beg you, do it for me. And she did. Daddy, do you know what? Then the auntie called my mom and said, oh, congrats, 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 thank, thank God, thank God. I said, mom, you see, 
These are the barbiters. She said, Which? Come on, professor. Kamala Dumas' elder sister is in the house. Is it elder or junior? Junior or elder? Mawena. She's also called Mawena. Are you junior or senior? Senior. All right. So here's the icing on the cake. After waiting 17 years, at the age of 50, God decided to honor his jubilee with this set of twins. If you haven't seen Pension Baby, this is Pension Baby. If you haven't seen Abraham and Sarah miracle, this one is as Abraham. It doesn't matter how your miracle has delayed. May the Lord shift something in the atmosphere and move something in the atmosphere. I am talking to only 101 people. Clap your hands and say, I receive it. Let the devil you. Now, the Lord what is me? The Lord put laughter. Sustained laughter. Now I am The Lord honor your faith. And the Lord secure you in the power of the blood. In the name of Jesus. I call it down. I thought you should be clapping and worshiping my Lord. Etian answering for what is with me. Hey, hey, me back. Now I am in say. Hallelujah. Here at the let's let's sum, sum up this one for us. We'll take after that, we'll take another one and then we are done. Yes, go ahead. This is Pastor Samuel Asari and his wife Pat. You will recognize him scattering the camp of the enemy in several um, languages here during week of the altar. Together, they pastor a royal house chapel assembly at Accra Central. Two years of marriage and they lost two babies. Very two years, two babies were lost. Very disheartened, very heartbroken. And then she fell pregnant with this baby here, Joella. When she first got pregnant and they went to the hospital, they told her that the baby was actually an ovarian cyst hey. and gave her medication to flush it out. Hey! Which would Somebody have, say, hey! Which would have killed this miracle baby. But this pretty girl. She's pretty, she's beautiful. This is Miss, Miss Ahimfie. Go ahead, my Through prayer, the Holy Spirit revealed to them that they should not flush out because this is a miracle baby. They waited a while, went back to the hospital, and that is when it was revealed that it was an actual baby in her womb. Are you clapping or you are doing something like clapping? But the enemy did not stop there. She carried through term, no complications, and then childbirth and labor comes. In the process of labor, the baby took in the water that she had broken. Okay. So when her water broke, the baby took in some water and feces hey. and was close to death. In that moment, they called Mama Rita. Mommy prayed a powerful prayer and declared that this baby shall not die. That the number three stands for resurrection. And Clap your hands and shout, I shall not die. 
but I will leave and I will declare the works of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. After this had happened, they were scared of death. They were scared of infections. They were scared of so many things. But to the glory of God, she delivered a baby. And in spite of the fact that they spent weeks in their ice, in their PICU, in their NICU, they spent weeks there because of infections from their feces. They went through without issues. The baby is here. Mother survived. Baby survived to the glory of God. Pastor, sorry. Professor to somebody who's, who is believing God for your miracle. What, how, how, you, you are a pastor and you've been preaching. You lead prayer services. What were your feelings when you lost those two pregnancies continuously? Daddy, for me, frankly speaking, because of the training we've had and ministerial ethics, uh, I, I wasn't much bothered. But because of your wife, you know, most at times they are emotional. Yeah. So when I see her, I break down. Not for me, but God you, satisfy you, you your daughter. You felt it for her. She, I felt she for her. Saying, what sin have I Left for me alone, daddy. Testimonies we've had, things you shared with us. Never a time will I ever doubt. Like your father, Apostle General. Thank you, Daddy. When I stand here, I don't show people my problems. Thank you, I Daddy. I preach as if I don't have yes. any problem. Yes. By the time I finish preaching, God has taken care. Hey! How many of you know that at the beginning of this conference, they took me to shrine and they called my soul to attend to, to come into a certain, a certain chicken? And they killed the chick. How many of you saw it? I am standing here only, only because you made me. You move mountains. Hey! You cause the walls to fall with your power. Come on, clap your hands. You perform miracles. Shout. There is nothing. Hey, that is impossible. And I'm standing. in the hands of the protection of the blood of Jesus. I go nowhere. Your soul will never go anywhere. Your soul remains at the altar under his wings, under his protection. Clap your hands and shout, I am going nowhere. Say amen. So, when the news came that you, your wife was pregnant, how was your, what was your feeling? And then when the doctor said, the thing is not pregnancy, you should flush it out. Daddy, in fact, I got very infuriated. When she came home, I told her, don't go to the hospital again. That is exactly what I told her. Never go there and listen to those bad reports again. Sit in the house. And we stayed for about three to four months. And she went again. And she went again. And when and, the doctor saw and her, the same machines proved that a baby was there. Don't know how Are you celebrating the goodness of the Lord? Tomorrow is Saturday. We are fasting half day. You are on your own. Fasting. Sunday, we are breaking the fast. It's 21 days, not 19. If you If you start a battle and you don't finish, you get your enemy to organize themselves and to come back. Clap your hands and say, Devil, cut off. May those who finish well finish with glory. Hey. May those who finish well have impact during the sword covenant. So, Four months when he went, what then the machine revealed that it's a, a baby. It's a baby. 
And there we are, we are celebrating. And then now, Despite whatever. Yes. Prophesy to somebody. Daddy, after, can I prophesy to my fellow guys in the house? Unfortunately, we are, yes, sir. We are international. Thank so you, you Daddy. start English and then you come to Ghana, yes, you come to Tree. Yes, and sir. then we would have satisfied the English people first. Is that okay? Yes. All yes. right, go ahead. So, until now, I never ever knew that when you experience the testimony yourself, you better understand what you see in Bible, what you see spoken by men of God, and what you see that people are saying. But today, here I am, week of the altar, 2024. I am holding the microphone, prophesying to you. I declare in the name of Jesus, any catastrophe that has hit your house, anything that is causing you to chicken out of your faith, I stand on this altar, this exalted altar, and I prophesy to all who cares, the God of my Father, the altar of this covenant will satisfy your need. He will satisfy in the name of Jesus. Any power tormenting you, 2024, you will in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. God bless you so much. Every cop heavy, ah, and eh, the fear is a baby, ah, who tremble a woo, who know, baby, be a yadi was set. I'm an adult, go to go be my yadi was set. I am Pesa Yabe Woo, and the Woo you would see, and the Woo you will be here, and should be Bawaso, and the Wunyam be Bawaso, where Musa for now, why ya, why ya, why ya, why ya, why ya, and now I beg to win him. Now I can say yes, Rao, Yenimo, Sana Wunyam and also Wunyam and Obekasa. I feel 2024. When you're in the casa, we'll move po, we'll move po. You're my casa, you. We'll do the above. We'll see in the casa, amen. Now, brother, listen to us from the northern region. Come on. Go when it may end. Mother and the suke gidenku. The basu song ke samu yara ke ayifu ya o ena kai ota babana. Seni in our in our Fadima, call when the Ike in the dust we call when the dark in the dust we shiga, call when our bunda dust we ye, some of the some of the I've been the Allah de Baka, yeah, I can subay Ike. Oh, let I can subay Ike. In Suche Bisa, in Suzo Casa, call in and the dust with you, Allah ya Piba Yanka, Allah ya Jeka Baka, poor me at the day. Allah, in the name of Jesus.
your celebration right now. This one will inspire your faith and lift up your faith. Stand here, my son. So who are there are in the center of this testimony? Your, your name is? Hallelujah. Emmanuel and then Gloria. And what's the name of this miracle Hallelujah. baby? God's life. <laughs> I have heard some names on this altar. Hallelujah. Dr. Arnold. So this is our pastor Emmanuel in one of our assemblies. Okay. Um, Opekuma assembly. So it, this testimony, as daddy said, will let you know that God is indeed with us. Whether you are in the oil dome, fellowshipping online with us, whether you are in the north, wherever you find yourself, there is an altar which is speaking for you. And the altar will make a difference. Shout and receive it. So this is their second child. But proud at the time when she took seed, about the sixth, seventh month, the husband, who is a pastor of Royal House Chapel, had a dream. In the dream, daddy, the wife went into the labor ward, delivered successfully, but did not return home with the child. That was the dream he had. And so he went into prayer and fasting, seeking the face of God from the altar. Now, bear in mind, this is two or three months to delivery date. Now comes the time when our sister is in labor, has been checked into the labor ward, and there is a particular midwife in the place. Now, according to them, four women were checked into the labor ward. All four of them, their babies, after being born, could not breathe. One of them died. Three were rushed to a, a, a hospital, but we don't know what happened to them. So they were so already... all four could not breathe. Yeah. One died. The other three, they were rushed out to major hospitals. We don't know what the results are like. But the fact was that they could not breathe. And she was the number five. She was number five. Cabarro so at city. this time, baby has been born. But for some strange reason, the baby was not breathing. Like the other four. Like the other four. Akabotali Bikotayama. And then darkness that is brewing pestilence. Clap your hands and say, catch fire. Catch fire. So our sister here had a normal vaginal delivery. So she recovered very quickly and could see that the midwife was not suctioning the baby well. But of course, she's very weak. And anything she tries to say, the midwife will shut her up. She would tell the midwife to handle the baby. The midwife would shut her up. And she was the only one there attending to the baby at the time. The angel of the Lord went ahead of her to ensure that what the enemy had planned through an evil midwife, the Lord overturned it. Now listen to the testimony. Under such circumstances, you need, we call something the precious five or ten minutes after the baby has been born. If you are not able to regain the baby, it is likely you will lose that baby. The baby was rushed from that hospital through an ambulance for over one hour. It's the baby was not breathing, but the Lord sustained her. Baby was stuck into the Niku for three days, and today we celebrate a miracle baby. Why? Because the husband prayed on the altar, and the Lord of the altar intervened. He gave life where there was no life. He overturned the counsel of an evil midwife, so the life through the altar will be secured. This is the miracle child. Tell us, doctor, a child who is not breathing one hour and then driving one hour, what should have happened between that hour of no oxygen? Oh, you don't even have to go one hour. If the child is not breathing five, ten minutes, know that your baby is dead. So you need immediate resuscitation. And this the one moment, extended for one hour. Yeah, the moment the baby is born, as long as the baby is not breathing well, you need immediate action, lest you lose the baby. But for one hour, they thought the baby would die. But the God of the altar had different ideas. Come on, Professor. Tell seven people in your area. Tell seven people. Yeah, I don't 
is the next miracle. Come on. If you are pregnant, husband, wife, show up at the altar right now. If you have brought the photograph of the person who is pregnant, show up right now. I want my five women to line up here and we are going to be praying for the uh, pregnant women right in front here. Yesterday we prayed for the women who are believing God for the fruitfulness of their womb. If you brought your document to the altar, when you pick it, make sure you engage the altar before you go. If you brought something that you want God to touch, God to speak through, make sure that you engage the altar before you leave. Hallelujah. If somebody is being prayed for over here and the person has to be in the bus, please let the bus wait for her or him. If the you are riding with somebody please just give them some few minutes and they will be joining you shall we be on our feet saturday we are fasting we are you are on your own sunday is the third sunday and third sunday we are dressing down and then we are doing the finality when you are coming in uh salt will be packed outside for you we call it the covenant of salt, also called the covenant of David. And uh, uh, get yourself ready. It's a very powerful covenant that we invoke in Royal House Chapel. It has fought battles for us. It delivered my household from death and from spiritual attacks. And many, many people have testified. So if your document is here, rush quickly and pick it. And you are going to engage the altar. If you have never engaged the altar today, please make sure that you do put the mantle around your shoulder around your neck hallelujah Amen. thank you holy spirit for uh, your sunday yeah yeah salt covenant sunday leba eh uh, your dress is simple now until leba so and chin we need more money if you are not be inside on the air and you can see those a child has been found loitering at the car park a child was found and uh, I speak to the this to the shame of the parents. The parents, you, you, you are very irresponsible. So your child is at the protocol, uh, at the mid information desk. When we close, uh, go there, and then identify your child, and then pick him or her. Please, please keep your eyes on the church, on your children. This is a very large, 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 large church. If they are going to wee wee. You have to go with them or your senior child has to go with them and bring them back don't let them go they will be lost uh, they can't find their way so a child has been found at the information desk look into somebody's face the royal lady scarves are there the our tabletop calendars uh, the assembly pastors uh you can go and then order pick a few and then they will write your name and a telephone number and then the number that you have taken which shall follow you up for the money assembly pastors uh our pastors in america and uh, uk if you want our tabletop calendars with a prophetic word and a word of wisdom please send somebody to come and speak to the head of protocol head of protocol and get the number and let them come to you. Yesterday, Pastor Sarah left for North uh, Carolina. Uh, Reverend Eric Achia 
I, I forgot to ask her to pick your calendars for you. I apologize. I apologize. But if there is somebody in Accra uh, from U.S., send them to pick them up for you tonight or Sunday and make sure that they are sent to you to America and U.K. and wherever. Assembly pastors, you can get them uh, and your name is written and the number you have picked, we shall follow you up for the monies. Hallelujah. Look into somebody's face. We have found a missing child. Uh huh. Pacho, I feel be ayiro. Why you our information this war? I offer no open eye on a pacho information this one. I call her. Ne jo ba na fanu kofi. Yaha ya dosu. Iti pacho ba so abu feel be numu. Alu kwa kusanga. Ebo tu mene na ko. Anaba mani nye peni be zine chiza na ko. No zina ba me nje jamu family de ya dosu ye pa. A pin mu ne waha. Edasi. From seventy-seven countries, as of today, one hundred and eighty-three countries are logging on and praying with us at week of the altar. Shall we give the Lord a mighty celebration? We have recorded nearly four hundred thousand gadgets from two hundred and thirty-one the other time to nearly four hundred gadgets that are connected. Minus power line TV and minus the number of people that are watching through one gadget. Let's give God a mighty clap and a mighty praise. Look into somebody's face. Sure, be name. Say, brother, brother, you have done some wicked things to the kingdom of the devil. You have done some wicked things to the Tell kingdom. Tell me, what did you do to them? What did you do to them? Answer what you have done to the kingdom of the devil. Announce the devastation. Oh, you are serious. You are serious. Increase the tempo. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May this victory be permanent. May this victory be permanent. Go to the second person. Go to the second person. Go to the person. Say, brother. 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 There are certain things you have taken from the kingdom of the devil. What are the things that they took that you have taken back? Answer me right now. Say in the name of Jesus. The way you are acting, I feel like doing an all night tonight. Clap your hands and say, the devil is in trouble. Go to the last person. Go to the last person. Go to the last person. Say, brother, I see that you are very spiritually angry. What has provoked you to this extent? And what are you going to do with this anointed? Answer him and answer her. shall follow you all the days of your life including 2024 January to December and we shall connect to the altar always and we shall stay under his wings and stay in the blood that's where we are protected and that's where we are secure so tomorrow and Sunday are the last days Watch and pray that you don't fall into temptation. Shall, shall we share the grace? God bless you. I love you. I'll see you on Sunday, 8 o'clock. Sun covenant, the covenant of David. Finish hard, finish well, finish hard. Greet somebody, greet people, say hello to somebody. Connect to the altar. Engage the altar if you haven't before you go. God bless you. May the testimony be your portion. May the Lord put laughter in your mouth and song in your mouth. Come on, celebrate. From every nation, all of creation, down before the
ancient old days. Hey. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. You are watching oh, Power Line TV. This is week on the altar 2024. Today happens to be the last weekday service. We go tomorrow and then we will crown our Sunday with the salt covenant. Thank you for dedicating 21 days to invite the Lord into your year 2024. It is not going to be easy. Or it hadn't been easy for you to go through 21 days pushing away your hunger pushing away your cravings you decided to lay before the Lord for the Lord to show up through your into your life see I want to prophesy into your life that tonight as you have participated as you are waiting for 21 days you are waiting for Sunday for Sunday to be your last day the Lord is about to shine his light upon you Every arrow that has been shot at you, there's going to be an overturning in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever burden you have laid on the altar, the Lord is coming through for you. Week of the altar is meant for both young and old. Today we have representatives from King Service. King Service ministry is for children all the way up to 12 years. And they'll be sharing their experiences with us tonight so stay tuned I know children are watching us if, you are, if your child is worshipping with us allow them to worship with us because today you are about to see the altar what the altar has produced the kind of children the altar have produced so we have someone here to speak to us hello hello what's your name my name is Abraham Abraham you are in King Service Ministry. Yeah. So I want you to tell us how the service has been for you. It has been very interesting how it has been very spiritually packed and how everybody is feeling the spiritual energy go through them. It was very energized and like a party, like a spiritual party. So we know you've been um, going to school. You go to school, you close from school, and then you come back to church. Haven't you been tired? I know you physically you've been tired, but how have you been strengthening? What has kept you going? I guess it's my energy as a child. Wow, wow, wow. So we did soakings, okay? We did water, we did um, blood, we did unleavened bread. Which one was your favorite? I think mine was the unleavened bread and the honey. And the honey. Oh my god. I thank God. What did you how how was the feeling like eating the unleavened bread and the honey? It felt like I was I was like a king. I was dying. I was dying like a king. <laughs> Indeed, you were dying like a king. I pray that as you have participated in all the all the 21 days of fasting, you and then attend to his name. Amen. Amen. So you heard our friend Abraham, he said he enjoyed the unleavened bread. Partaking in the unleavened bread and the honey made him feel like a king in his father's house. It made him feel like a king in his father's house. See, let me prophesy to you that as you have partaken in the unleavened bread and the honey, it doesn't matter how long it has been. The Lord is going to make you a king in your father's house. We have two beautiful ladies here with me. What's your name? Tiffany. And what's your name? Trisha. So we have Trisha and Tiffany. Are you siblings? Twins. Oh my God, this is impressive. <laughs> okay, you look alike. Anyways, so 
how has it been for you this 21 days in fasting? Can you tell me how, how the feeling has been? Were you tired coming? Were you happy? How has it been? Tell us. It has been happy coming and it has been prayerful. The prayers have been prayerful. And so I believe you prayed your heart out. What did you ask the Lord to do for you? What did you petition the altar of our Father to do for you? To forgive all our sins and change our lives and, and make us be born again. The Lord will indeed make you a born again and he will answer all your prayers. So can you tell me, we did, the un, uh, we did um, so many tokens. We did the blood, we did the unleavened bread and the honey, we did water. Which the one was oil. your favorite? Yes, the oil as well. Uh, the unleavened bread. The unleavened bread. How did you feel when you were eating it with the honey? It felt so good. <laughs> I know, it will feel so good. Can you tell someone watching us what you experienced during the 21 days of fasting? Did you pray your heart out? Yes, I did. And it was so good it was so good mm -hmm. indeed the lord is going to make your life so good the lord is going to make you happy in your academics you will excel and everything that you touch will be blessed amen so you can okay so we, we you you heard from the twins the beautiful twins they shared their experience about how they were excited about eating the unleavened bread, partaking in the unleavened bread and the honey. They said it felt good. We have another lady here. Please, she's not from King's Service. <laughs> she's from the Teen Service. What's your name? Ishira. Ishira. Ishira, so today is the last weekday service of Week of the Altar 2024. We have tomorrow and Sunday to go. Can you tell us how you feel about it? Um, I'm so excited because throughout the period of the prayer and fasting, I've um, given requests to God and I feel like through the prayer that I've done, God will reply me. Yeah. Indeed, the Lord is going to reply all your needs. As you have petitioned your problems on the altar, as you have petitioned the altar, the altar is going to speak for you. Can you tell someone watching us what to expect after we call the altar to it? After we of the altar, um, you should expect all your blessings coming from God because he's not going to watch you suffer and you ask him to do something and he will not reply you. So expect your blessings because God will reward you for what you've done. Amen. You heard her right. Thank you so much, Nishira. You heard her telling us that you should be in an expectant mood. You should be expecting your miracles. You should be expecting your breakthrough. You should be expecting everything that you have positioned on the altar. That the Lord of our Father, the Apostle General, will come through for you. We have more lovely children here. What's your name? My name is Lady Rita. The top is nice. What's your name? Rita. Hey, I have two Ritas. Lady Rita and Rita. Okay, so two Ritas. I want you to tell me, how has Week of the Altar made an impact on you? How, when you come for Week of the Altar, like, how do you feel? What's the change you feel in you? So, what I'm going to say is that I would feel very happy, good, because the Spirit of the Lord is coming upon wow, my life. Indeed. I'll feel good and, you know, other stuff. So. I'm glad. I'm glad that you feel good to be in the presence of the Lord. Little Rita. So, can you tell me, how, how have you felt in the presence of the Lord? I knew you came to pray, pray, pray. What did you pray about? I prayed about God should help my parents get more money, blessings, and plenty, powerful blessings. Amen. And we will get a covenant. Amen, amen, amen. Are you going to give me some of the toys? Because when God blesses mommy, mommy will get plenty of money. And you buy plenty of toys. Will you give me some? Yes. Okay, I'll be waiting. Thank you so much, my two lovely writers. God bless you. So you heard them. Children are here intervening for their parents. Praying for the Lord to visit their parents. So that their parents can handle their needs. It is very important to bring your children to the altar. Introduce your children to the altar of our Father. We have two lovely ladies here in red. Ladies in red. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is Ariana Wilson. 
Okay, nice name, Mariana. What's your name? My name is Giovanna Wilson. Come again. My name is Giovanna Wilson. Giovanna. Okay. So, the Wilson ladies, <laughs> the Miss Wilsons, can you tell me how you have felt this whole week of the altar? Were you not tired? If you were tired, what kept you going? Uh, because, uh, yes, our time went coming. It was a long journey because we come far away. But then, actually, it's very nice to come here because unlike some other churches, this one, there's lots of worship, and wow. therefore we get to be jumping and dancing. Wow. My sister tried to be on the front, but she was too oh, shy. Wow. wow. But yeah. you were on the front, I believe. Yeah. Wow. So you were the kids age you was talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So can you tell me, we did unleavened bread, we did water, we did oil, we did honey. Which one was your favorite prophetic token? The honey. The honey. Is it because it's sweet? What was it? Tell me, why, why was it your favorite? Because it helped me through my exams. Wow, so impressive. By eating the honey, she said it helped her write her exam. See, the Lord is about to do great things in your life. The Lord is about to smile with you. Can you tell the online viewers something? Tell them something. We are leaving. We are done. So tell them something. So there are most children out there also going to get tests. I'm in sixth grade and I'm also going to go through my um, progression test. Even though you're new, like, like the pastor said, he said that, that even though you're new, you're going to ask the God of the God of partial General, the person who has already been through this journey before, to help us in this journey. Amen. Indeed, the Lord will help you. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye. So you heard from the children and they have spoken their hearts out. They have told you how they have felt this past 21 days. Though they were tired, they, were, they kept coming. See, I want to prophesy to you and your children at home that this year you and your family, you are preserved. As you have partaken in this 21 days of prayer and fasting, nothing, nothing, nothing will come to you that will attack you will break you in jesus mighty name tomorrow we are fasting on our own we are back here on sunday and then by sunday we'll crown it with the salt covenants do not take yourself out so i'll join you i'll see you later bye over to you Reverend naka Thank you, Roberta. And we are back from the arena of warfare. And what a power-packed service it was. It was, it was something else. And today being the last night, you will think that people will be so tired. And like we said earlier, there was so much traffic in town. But people made their way to the oil dome. And what a service it was. In the studio with me is Lady Dick and Alice, whom I introduced earlier. But we have a new face now. Lady Nanekia, she's a, a, a fire brand, very unassuming, but oh my God. Nanekia, I already asked Alice this, but how have you found Week of the Altar? Reverend Naka, Week of the Altar has been amazing. Mm, mm. Um, it's been my best Week of the Altar till, till date. Wow. The, all the presenters, all the pastors and the reverends that came did amazingly mm, well. Mm, Their mm. prayer topics were on point. I was hearing the things that um, I wanted to hear. Yeah. You know, last year, I remember some of the prophecies that AG gave to mm. us at the week of the altar. Very scary. Very scary ones. But this time, when I heard the supernatural grace mm. and the supernatural reward, mm. supernatural I was really help. excited. And then I know that this year, our, our heavens are open mm. and it's going to be amazing. Mm. So mm. I really, really, really enjoyed myself at the week of the altar. As a CEO, so you're the CEO of Listening Bureau, yes, I know usually um, in previous years, you gather all your office staff, you bring them to week of the altar. Why, why do you think it's important to bring your office staff to week of the altar and encourage them to participate? Okay. It's extremely important I bring them mm. because it's a covenant in this mm. house. Mm. Mm. And I must bring all my staff uh, under this covenant. And they all believe it. Amazingly, um, Reverend Naka, I remember that one of my staff at a point said to me that he had a dream and he saw Mama Rita wow. in the dream. 
So that wow. tells you that the covenant of the wow. house is speaking for the company wow. and is even speaking for wow. the individual mm. staff because yeah. he was going yeah. through yeah. some traumatic um, situation mm. and Mama Rita was in his dream mm -hmm. and he is a Presbyterian. Wow. So what does that tell you? It tells wow. you that there's a covenant mm. in this house that mm. is speaking. Mm -hmm. And when I tell them to come, they don't hesitate. They don't hesitate. They, are they, they, they know what they get they from the covenant. Here. And the last week of the altar as well, I came with one of my staff and AG asked her that she can also pick one of the, um, you know, those little things you put in the car. Yeah. And by faith, she picked one. And today she's driving her own car. Wow. And she came to the office to share the testimony. Wow. And she knew that wow. it was the faith that wow. she had on that day wow. that gave her the car. Wow. Wow. So this is what Covenant is doing for That's us. Amazing. Yes. Speaking of Covenant, um, today the interviews were all children. Mm. And it's amazing. Mm. The things they were saying. Someone said she prayed for her, her parents to have more money. Exactly. Someone said she enjoyed the honey because it helped her in her exam. So if children are participating in the covenant, in the tokens, in the week of the altar, how much more are we adults? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's, it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you will think they don't understand what goes on in church. Yeah, they do. But they really, really they do. do. Wow, covenant, covenant. That's why our children are intelligent. Yes. <laughs> our children are in Wesley Girls. They are in Achimota, the best school in the whole country. <laughs> Not Holy Child, please. Um, oh, our children go to University of Ghana. Uh, um, they are in law school, medical school. The covenant is speaking. The altar is speaking. Now let's talk about tonight's service. How did you, how did you feel? The last night... Reverend Naka, like I said earlier, mm. if you didn't participate, whether in person or online, and you're now you you've really missed it. Because listen, sometimes you don't know when the visitation is Come coming. on now. Come so on now. So you don't, don't take things for granted. Mm. AG said, and I'm repeating, mm. we are not finishing the it's, fasting. Today is not the last day. We are finishing it is not on finished. Sunday. Sunday, tomorrow Please and don't Sunday. Take tomorrow and Sunday for granted. Yeah. Your visitation might be tomorrow. Please, tomorrow morning, Trust don't join me. the watch queue. Trust me. You know what? I enjoyed today's service very well, and I'm sure somebody sitting in the house also enjoyed it. Yeah. The first prayer topic spoke about the fact that there is some. Either someone has thrown death to you, mm. not physical death. Sometimes you think uh, the person is wishing you to die. No. no. Yeah. It is probably about your health, mm -hmm. about your business, your marriage, about your marriage, your children. your children. And the man of God led us to pray that whoever has has summoned you to death, come on now. What kind or whatever death it is, God should speak for you. Come on now. The altar should speak for you. Mm. The tokens we have applied should speak for Amen. you. Amen. Trust me. Death will move away from you. Amen. It will Amen. be far from your family. In the name of Jesus. Far from your children. In the name of Jesus. Far from anything Amen. that you cherish. In the name of in Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We have some messages coming through. Someone says, Aish, I can't believe we are ending week of the altar. Please, we have two more days. <laughs> Thank you, Apostle General. You made me understand the efficacy of the altar. Week of the altar has really changed and transformed me. God bless you, Apostle Amen. General. We have so many testimonies like these. Amen. People who have encountered the God of Apostle General and their lives have turned and changed for the better. Amen. Someone says, today was magical and superpower ish mm. and i am grateful for this program for me to know more things in life thanks to this program mm. i just feel like i'm strong now to fight my battles mm. the theme for this year's week of daughter strong. be strong yes. be courageous once again thanks for the program i'm really enjoying it someone says i received healing from depression on this altar in the name of jesus amen. may your healing be permanent amen. and may the spirits of depression never come back in amen. the name of jesus someone says i thank god for the life of apostle general i pray and connect to the altar of apostle general for for permanency in my life and for my siblings seraphine genevieve and righteous mm. oh may your prayers be answered and mm. may the altar speak for you mm. in the name of jesus hi good evening i have been joining week of the altar every year and i must say 
the altar is put in. And this is one theme that keeps coming potent. in most of the messages, so, that the altar is put in. The potency of the altar. Yes. What, what is it that makes our altar potent? Reverend Akai, if you ask me, mm. I'll say, first of all, if you look at the covenant of this house, mm. covenant we've the heard the history. Mm. We've heard how God called Apostle General, yeah. asking him to come, to come and touch the generation with mm. God's power. Mm. Mm. That alone is a premise for which our altar is yeah. potent. Yeah. Yeah. And you can tell the fathers, they've led by example. Mm -hmm. They've sacrificed on the altar. Yeah. Mm. They've been faithful to mm. our God. Mm. They fought a good battle mm. and they, they run the race. Yeah. And today we are beneficiaries yeah. of that yeah. grace. Yeah. Yeah. And yesterday, Apostle General, it was in his elements. And to, to for me, yesterday was a sequel. Today was a sequel of yesterday. Mm. Ask me why. The father stood on the altar and declared our inheritance for us. Yeah. He prophesied that we will do well. Our children's children will do well. He was speaking about generational mm. wealth, mm. generational inheritance. Yeah. So when I saw the man of God today speaking about yes. the fact that there shouldn't be wastage, mm. then I said to myself, mm. you know what, well, we can come and stage a warfare mm. for the prophetic to manifest. Yeah. But then again, if we don't seek divine problems mm. for come God, on now. there can come be on now. wastage. Come on now. Come I on prophesy now. to hey, you prophesy. who is at home, that you will not come to the week of the altar and pray in the name of and Jesus and gather all the blessings in the name of Jesus and at the end of the day the spirit of wasting hey, will come upon hey, you mm. and you will lose your blessing mm. as we have prayed today mm. that every Every blessing of ours is sealed by the blood. The we will not waste it in, in, the, name of Jesus. Jesus. in the name Amen. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Another thing that makes our altar potent is that everything we do is based on the word of God. Mm. Throughout the 21 day, well, 21 minus 2, 19 mm. days, yes. every prayer topic has been based on the word of God. Mm. No mm. pastor, no preacher came to just mm. conjure See, prayer topics yeah, out of thin yeah, air. Yeah. All the prophetic acts, all the tokens we used, AJ will give a scripture to back it. Exactly. All the declarations, exactly. everything was based on the word of God. We were literally praying God's word back to him. Exactly. God, in your word, he said A, B, C, so exactly. do X, Y, Z exactly. for me. Yeah, yeah. Reverend, I want to say something. You know, I think, was it Tuesday? I was having this um, thread. Yeah. And you were laughing at mm -hmm. me. So, you know, the Bible says, talks about the blood. Yeah. And we should always swim in the blood, mm -hmm. move in the blood. Mm -hmm. I mean, do everything with the blood. But literally, um, you know, our mantles, the red mantles are big. And so you can't be carrying it yeah. around and stuff. So in, I think in September, one day, my husband was like, Chale Nana, um, this blood thing, eh? We can't be carrying the mantle around, but we need it. We mm -hmm. need it. Then he said, you know what? Go and get this crocheting thread. Yeah. And we prayed over it. And we started putting it on our, on our uh, hand. Uh -huh. You have it there today. So we use it, we use it as a, a mm. wristband. And that is what we always use. And it is working for wow. us. Man. It wow. is working for us. Wow. I remember one day we went to my husband's shop. We got to the entrance and somebody has come to do whatever they want to mm. do. All he did was to tear his and drop put it, it in come it, on now. And then ask me to sweep it. That day we made the the best sales. Wow. Amen. So the mantle speaks. Mm, it speaks. The mantle speaks. speaks. The speaks. covenant is always mm. speaking mm. for mm. us. Mm. Mm. And she continues by saying, kindly tell Apostle Juno and Mama Rita that we love them mm. and may the good lord bless and protect them for us Amen. but it saddens my heart that week of the altar is coming to oh. an end please oh. you, you can you can start all over again <laughs> we give you the grace and we give you the permission <sighs> Mama says my family and i are watching week of the altar in fact we wish we were all in accra to be there in person mm. you were not here in person but I know that you have experienced the power of our altar. You have experienced the potency on the altar. You have experienced the grace on our altar. You have experienced the anointing in the oil dome. This is a testimony. Today, um, we heard testimonies about miracle babies. This is a testimony. said, in my marriage, my wife had two miscarriages. And the third pregnancy lasted more than nine months she spent a lot of time before the baby was born 
and the child swallowed the maternal blood. And the baby spent four days in the NICU. Mm. But to the glory of God, the child is alive. Alleluia. The child is healthy. Alleluia. Our second baby also came this year. Hey, wow. First January 2024. Wow. wow. Right at the beginning of the year, the Lord gave you a testimony. Wow. Today is the, what is today's date? 26th. 26th, 26th of January. Yeah. But it is not too late for the Lord to give you a miracle. Yeah. Before January is over, the Lord is about to smile on you. Mm -hmm. I declare that your heavens are open and may the Lord Jesus. shower his blessings over your life. Amen. You combine the anointings of all the speakers you recall of the altar Amen. and all the prayers that have been said and we release multiple blessings in your life. Amen. If you believe it, shout, I believe. I believe. Wow, this is powerful. powerful. Enter the new year with miracles. Miracles. Powerful. Wow, 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 wow. Another person says, Apostle General, you are really a man of God. Mm, yes. God should continue to pour his anointing on you in the mm, mighty name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Someone Amen. also says, I enjoyed today's session, though I am a little late. Psalm 91 verse 5 to 6, the scripture Apostle General used mm. in prayer will never leave my mouth. Amen. The altar will speak for me. Amen. That if they are giving out letters to head an SHS school in February, mm. my name will be part. Mm. Isi from Takaradi. Okay, so Isi is believing God for promotion. Mm. Amen. She wants to head a senior mm. high school. Oh, Isi, may your ears hear good in news. That Jesus. letter that you are expecting, mm. that in phone call you are expecting, may it not be a missed call. Amen. May you receive Jesus. that phone call. Amen. May that letter Amen. arrive and you will come back and share your testimony Amen. with us. Amen. Amen. She's calling, she's texting from Takaradi. Wow. Connecting to the altar of our Father. Wow. Not here in person, wow. but we know the altar will speak. Oh, yes. will speak. The altar will speak. The name of um, most people are sad week of the altar is ending. What I, I have mixed feelings about week of the altar ending. How, how are you feeling? It's come really fast. Mm. Um, it's been a wonderful experience. I personally was looking, I've been looking forward to every night. Yeah. And I was so expectant. I couldn't wait to see the speakers. Mm. But all too soon, we are coming to an, the mm. end of the week of the altar. And I must say, I also have mixed feelings. Yeah. But one thing I do know is that every Sunday, the Father will be mounted. Come on now. Come so on now. Continue. Come the on now. The revival Come on continues. Now. Come on now. Americans are coming here to see our revival. Mm. It will continue with Amen. us. There's no stopping. Amen. From now to the end of the year, December, Amen. we will still be meeting the Father at the altar. Amen. And we Amen. know that it will be glorious Amen. in Jesus' Amen. name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So to add to Nanekia, She's just trying to tell you sitting home that we have not finished the week of the altar. Amen. Every Sunday, every Friday, Amen. we are here at the altar of our Father to speak to the God of our Father. Father. Please don't sit at home. Amen. Join us. Join us and keep experiencing the 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 the, the, the and keep experiencing God's power. presence right. and the power. power. Yes, the power. Amen. The power. Amen. Hey, there's a message here for me. I must read it and give myself fans. Yes. It says, good evening, <laughs> Reverend Naka. My son says you're an angel on earth. Oh. oh and he's five oh years God. old. Oh. oh. Thank you so much. And I think you're also an angel here on earth. Amen. And she says, my goodness, what a program and progress. So divine. God bless our father and our mother in the house. Amen. Reverend Sam Kranchankra, the altar is blessed beyond measure. Amen. Amen. We'll be wrapping up in the next five minutes. Yes. And before we we'll go, we'll pray for people expecting the fruits of the womb, Amen. expecting miracles of various Amen. kinds. But as we have said countless times, today is not the last day. Yeah. The last service is Sunday at 8 a.m. And the salt covenant with the Apostle General. And you really, really don't want to miss. Tomorrow we are fasting half day. And Sunday we are gathering here at the Oil Dome. And as usual, we'll be back on, on your screens Sunday at 8 a.m. With salt covenant with the Apostle General. Before we go, um, we'd like to say a word of prayer for those who have been watching us, those who have been watching since day one, those who, even those who joined just this week, mm. we are praying for open heavens. We are praying for miracles. We are praying for testimonies mm. that they will encounter 
the miracles that we have been receiving and seeing in this house. Amen. So Nanika, you pray for financial blessings, financial Amen. breakthrough, Amen. and business opportunities, Amen. scholarships, Amen. open doors for people. Amen. The King Alice, you are praying that whatever miracles we have received these 21 mm. days or these 19 days, mm. the devil will not steal mm. anyone's testimony mm. and glory. Mm. Amen. Shall we pray? Today, as Reverend Callisto said, mm. we are connected to major prophets like Apostle General. Mm. And through his declarations, many are the ones who have had financial In the name of Jesus. Many are the ones who have seen an elevation mm. in their finances. Elevation. And I am an example. Mm. Today, I stand in the oil of my father and I declare over your life that every financial breakthrough that you are seeking on this altar of mercy, mm. it shall be yours. In the name of Jesus. We connect you to the covenant In the name of, of this Jesus. house. That as our Father declared over our lives, that may our businesses expand just as his ministry has expanded Amen. beyond the shores of Ghana. May that be so for every In business In the name person. of Jesus. We are calling upon all to connect to the covenant mm. of grace. May we connect to this covenant. Amen. May we connect to this mandate. In the name of Jesus. And may God cause our finances to blow and may it receive a revival. In the name of In Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We continue to pray and ask that the altar of our Father Amen. keeps every every prayer we have prayed in the to name God, of jesus that as our lord and master jesus Amen. keep answering our prayers Amen. no prince of persia come on now with will withhold in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name we are of saying jesus. the lord every prayer prayed this mm. 21 mm. days Amen. whether in person or online mm. Amen. speak for each speak, soul lord. Speak, speak lord speak lord speak lord speak lord grant name. us speedily answers speedily oh, answers oh lord what we we have never even dreamt of mm. Amen. what we didn't even ask in the Amen. name of jesus the lord you will let it come to pass. In the Amen. name of we Jesus. We soak and hide every prayer in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus name. And we ask that angels will carry our angels answers so in God. the name of that Jesus. That no prince of Persia hey. will stop any angelic in the name of Jesus. In the, name of in the Jesus. mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. May it run throughout the year. In the name of Jesus. From now to 31st of December. In the name of, the name of Jesus. 2024. Amen. Amen. And we will come back to our Father's in altar. Jesus and name and Jesus. give you all the praise, Amen. Lord. Amen. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus', in Jesus, Jesus name. name. Amen. 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 All too soon, we've come to the end of today's session. My name is Reverend Naka, and I've been your host for this week. Remember, Sunday, 8 a.m., here at the Oil Dome with Apostle Jadol, Salt Covenant, don't miss all the grace, all the anointing for your fast tomorrow. We can't wait to hear your testimonies. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Amen.